Oh, like they're black and white. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's they the, the uh, Common Gun Sons. Uh, Conway's doing it, yeah. Yeah. Them, them, them cost, though, don't they? Yeah, I think, yeah, they cost a few dollars. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but but the bad thing about it is when we come, we ain't coming with just no cars and no shit like that. If we're gonna be staying in bigger cribs and motherfuckers kids gonna be going to private school. When we come with it. It ain't no just we coming just we just gonna yeah. be fly. The whole family you're gonna see it in our family. You're gonna see our kids with the shit before we see it. Yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's not just gonna be. I'm gonna pull up in the X5 BMW. I'm gonna and do that kids. too. But hey. the kids is where they gonna be at first. Hey, you can have that they, BMW they shit. Have, I'm putting up in this Porsche. That's how, different. The Porsche is different. Hank, whatever, 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 whatever you like. Yeah, Jermaine. Yeah, Jermaine ain't. I mean, I don't want to count nobody's pockets, but I seen him. He put. He had. He got like an old ass Impala. No, no, he got that my LTZ Impala with a double roof. It's a black one. Hell no, no, nah, nah, yeah. I, I see. Like no, not the ninety eight. He, <laughs> he got an Impala, but the one with the double roof, that's not the one he drive. Maybe he drive that. That's probably Hank shit. Yeah, Hank, my... I think Hank got a black one with okay. the double roof. The no. LTZ joint. He got a he got a, a LT. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he ain't got the LTZ. Yeah, no, he ain't got the. I I literally pull up next to this nigga when I'm dropping the kids off at school. I'd be like, oh, yeah, he, ain't making no right. he, he got a tour with the roof. Come tell me that shit. Don't post it on my shit. And it was like, you shouldn't have felt no type of way. And this shit was like all the same time that uh, <laughs> uh, Skin Bone was getting into it. I'm like, oh, everybody, can I just fight then? Everybody beat up and fight. Like, <laughs> you know who getting real money, though? Who? Corporate. I was just going to say that. He getting real money. I ain't gonna lie, Bone getting money too. Uh, he, 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 cor- corporate, 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 corporate. Because corporate to me put all them niggas on, right? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, but Bone getting bread. Yeah. The Bone know how to move. Yeah, he just need to know how to move his kids from out of that regular public <laughs> school into these private schools. Cause Bone getting bread. I think he just splurged a lot though, you know. So I think uh, the issue is a lot of times you don't have good money management. Yeah, yeah. yeah you I ain't gonna lie to you though. Shit. You can have that BMW shit. I'm past that. I used to be like that. I said ten years ago I wanted a BMW. Sure, yeah. I want a motherfucker Porsche now. But that X joint, that motherfucker. Oh, oh man, he pulled that up Porsche. On the you seen the video I put in the group chat? That's how I'm pulling up. I feel you. That's <laughs> how I'm pulling I up with that porch with the red seats. I feel you. But that, you know, we got to get to that point. We going to get there. I ain't know we, we, we going to get there. Man, I ain't say when. I said we got to get there. That's we going to get there. I feel you. But what I'm saying, I feel you. It ain't too far. It ain't too far. Yeah, we got to wait until how this dollar go because this bitch is on the way. <laughs> yeah. that, that same Porsche that's 200000 mm-hmm. that bitch going to be 800000 yeah. in a minute. I'm so. going to be able to still afford it, though, because I'm going to get it. I feel you. Yeah, I'm gonna put that shit under my company name. Oh, okay. Y'all niggas wrong with shit. <laughs> oh. Uh, question for y'all guys. Do you think you need validation? Me and, me and, me and Jerry Day were talking about this in the break room one time. You think you need validation? And it comes from, Space is gonna like this because I've been looking at his homie a lot. The Lapeef Network, where they were talking about, you know, giving credit to people just because they're doing good or just because you got off drugs or just because you stopped hoeing or just because you stopped doing whatever you was doing. It don't matter. I just use that and throw that out there. Don't take me. Don't come at me. Man. Even if you do at me, you're going to add no key because I ain't no social media. I don't care. So, do you think you need validation? When you say validation, do you need somebody to encourage you? Did you need to say, spacious, man? Oh, and it's a good point. Because we come to you sometimes, too, because you, spacious, this little fine, you know, light skinned brother right here, gentleman with the turban on, you know, you know him right here, light skinned brother with the turban on. He, uh, he do a lot of our editing, huh? I said, all right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. <laughs> he's doing like my voice. He, 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 he doing a lot of the editing. <laughs> he doing a lot of the editing. And me and me and Jay every day, when we see it or when we come across it, we give him validation for it. Do you think you need that? 
From from you guys, yes. Oh, so you do need them. specifically from like people close to me, yeah. Oh, so you do need them. Explain. Because I, I mean, because <laughs> I tell me if I'm doing a good job, <laughs> like. Okay. Because I I care about your opinion. Okay. So if you had a son or a daughter, would you need somebody validation to tell you you're a good father? Mm, no, no, not necessarily. I take the compliment, but I I wouldn't need anybody to tell me that. Okay, Jerry Day, what you think? Do I need validation? Yeah, like somebody to you know. Tell you, hey, Jerry, man, Jerry Day, man, you did a good job, man. You you matter of fact, we were just talking about it just a little bit a while ago. Most people don't go to their daddy daughter dance. You went. Mm. Congratulations Bars. to you Bars. and your daughter, Miss. Miss. Oh no, no, man, hold on, man, no. There's a lot of brothers that go to the daddy no, no, daughter no. dance. I, man. I understand if that. you got one. I, no, I understand that, but I'm saying it's a lot. It's a lot of people don't. But we know. I don't believe none of that shit they be talking. We we know what's going on. We know we 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 around gentlemen that take care of their kids mm-hmm. and that's be there for their kids. So would you need somebody to tell you, hey man, you did a good thing. You was there for your your dad your daughter. For her daddy daughter dance. I mean, it, only person it really mattered to is my daughter. So I, I mean, if she told me, you know, hey, you did a good thing, you was there for my daddy daughter dance, like that, it would matter because it came from her. Other than that, like I, I don't give no fuck what y'all think to be honest, like about <laughs> nothing across the board. But that's me. You see, what I'm saying I don't give no fuck, but I do understand that a lot of times to help people move on and move forward, that people need a little push. You see what I mean? I mean, you even start off. As a child needing to push, and I understand that are, those are children, but a lot of times people run through rough patches in life, and everybody's not going to be on the straight and narrow. And if somebody can turn around and say, you know what, I see what you're doing. You know, it's as simple as I see what you're doing. I see what you got going on. You know what I mean? It, like I said, it's not necessarily a party or anything. We're not throwing a party for this person. Right. But just yeah. acknowledging them. You know, so <laughs> validation versus acknowledgement, you know, I, I think that's really the thing. Like, do I need somebody to validate me? Hell no, you know what I mean? Because I am who I am regardless. Mm-hmm. But an acknowledgement, that's fine. I, I, I'll take that. See, I, I, think. I, I can rock with that. The validation part, nah, not too much. Because in my eye, it takes, it takes you a while before you build up confidence to where you don't really need nobody to validate you or to give you acknowledgement. So you're going to have to build that up in yourself regardless. So for acknowledging me to do things, I'm one of them. Do, I don't really need all that because I, I know what I'm doing. I know it's on the right path. I know I can look at a lot of bad things around me and see that I'm doing much better. See that I'm doing right. So I can validate that by that by looking just looking at that alone. So I don't need you. Now acknowledging me, saying, "Oh, well, I see you. I see, see you did this. Oh, I see you got the new coupe. I see you, see you, you be clean this. Okay, acknowledgement. That's cool. It'll give you a little bit more confidence, you know. But a brother like me gonna take that to the extreme. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna know. And I'm gonna joke it off, I'm gonna do whatever, and people gonna know that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I do all the time. But for people to always say you need acknowledgement, I mean you need validation, I don't think nobody should be be trying to look for nobody to validate them nothing. You gotta look within yourself. You gotta be happy within yourself. That's why they say you gotta find yourself, you gotta go get on your little path and your journey to find yourself so you can validate yourself so you won't look for other people. Cause just like a person can validate you. It can also devalue, de de devaluate you, like bring you down. Yeah, is that the right? Am I saying the right word? I don't think I'm saying the right. I'm not saying the right word. I know I'm not. But to bring you down, just as much as people, just like you live for the cheers, you'll die for the booze. So therefore, I say I wouldn't look for people to just try to validate me because I know them the same people that can validate me can also bring me down. So that's why I look at it within myself. I wouldn't really, you know really care about validation from other people. I never really looked at that as a, a thing to me in my eye. I just think, like, that's how you... It, I mean, I, I guess I'm, I'm conflating the word validate and, like, just comment, because... That's why you said acknowledgement. Right, because so, it's like, that. that's how you... That helps shape what you're doing, too. What right? you mean? Like, so... How do I... You say? Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. It's like... Well, you're talking about the validation part helps shape what you're doing yeah. because uh, you're doing things to get the acknowledgement. I mean, not necessarily. Yeah, it's making you do things, right? That's why you have people who are pretentious because they're trying to show off, right, to get those comments and, and things from, yeah. from from a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, who broke themselves or, you know what I'm saying, they got issues themselves. You're trying to act like you some type of stand-out, stand-up person. Yeah. 
You know, and that to me is what validation is. Is really to um, you want people to say, "Oh, I see." Not necessarily, I see what you're doing, but the same group of people that you're around all the time, and oh man, you got the new mics on, or oh man, like I don't, you know, fuck, no, I, I wear this shit because of me, right? You know right. what I mean? That's but you got normal. people who go out who buy some, you know, mics, Balenciagas, or whatever it is, just to get just the stunt. Yes, and so everybody else yeah. can see. Yeah. And to me, that's a person who needs validation. Yeah. They need some. I mean, they they have a, a deeper issue, yes, yes, which yes, you know yes, what I'm saying. Yes. They have a self love issue, yes, or yes, they weren't yes. getting love from their parents or whatever it is. So yeah. I think that you know, I personally, again, I don't need that. My mother loved me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I have. Yeah, that, that's the same thing with me because no matter what, if you run into anybody that ever ran across me, and it's not me trying to toot my own, that's why I don't need validation from other people. It's one thing, it might not say a lot of, they going to say a lot of good things about me because I'm a great person. But one thing they always going to say, I'm a solid. I'm as solid as they come. That's the only thing I can I can tell anybody, I'm just solid. What you see is what you, I'm a solid person. I'm not going to do you wrong. I'm not trying to fuck over nobody. I'm not trying to, I'm just solid. Just a solid individual, solid dope person. And that's what I strive to be. So it don't matter who you run across with me or I don't need no validation from nobody else because I know who I am. I'm not out here trying to, if I did some wrong or whatever, and you bring that to my attention, I'm going to apologize immediately because that wasn't ever my intent. So I've always been like that. And I've, ever since I can honestly say I know and I found out who I was, I've just been a solid person. And that why I say I never needed no validation from nobody else. Or I don't really need your compliment to tell me I did this or I did that. It ain't me being cocky or anything like that. And like Jerry Day said, I have people that love me. So when you have people that love you around you and you love yourself, you don't need validation from nobody else. Why? That's all I need. <laughs> no, you don't need that from nobody else. Why do I need your outside or you to come in, uh, a, a person that's from outside of the little circle to tell me, oh, I see you this. I see you. I really, thank you. I appreciate it, but I didn't need it. Right. Oh, doubt. Yeah, Good so, afternoon, Naps and Beauty. Good yeah. afternoon, Sister Every Day. Yeah, Sister Every Day. <laughs> oh, and then, uh, you know, y'all through with that? Y'all good on that? Yeah, I'm good. That was a nice little pre-conversation. Now let's get into another little, right? <laughs> the Monique special, brothers. How y'all doing? You want to wait till they go in? No, go ahead, go ahead. Did you, you have that in there? It's wild, it's Monocue. <laughs> right. Monocue, that's her name? It's Monocue. Oh, Monday. No, Monique. no, no. that was in the special, dude. Hey, man, her name is Monique. <laughs> Monocue, how y'all liked about the Monocue special? Oh, she no. said did it, now she had, okay. No, uh, that's no, what, man, the white man, the, 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 the teacher. teacher. Oh, yeah, I know that, but I still name is Monique. I know what y'all talking about, but I'm still calling her Monique. Her mama named her Monique. I'm going to call her Monique. You supposed to go with the... Oh, yeah. All right, man. Monique. 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 So what y'all think about it? Uh, you want to go? No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> you know he'll never like go up first. All right. He, I, I he, thought it was... He complained about you stole all his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the special was solid, you know. Um, it was better than Chris Rock shit. Facts, okay. them bars. Yeah, I mean, uh, again, I understand why she got a special. I'm not really going to touch on that because, you know. <laughs> we lied. They're going to take us out there. It's a community. <laughs> they might feel some type of way about it. But uh, I did think just all in all, it was, it was funny. It was a lot of... Uh, you can bleep this out, bitch, bitch, motherfucker, bitch, bitch, nigga, nigga. You know, but that's Monique, right? Yeah, I agree. You know, so, I mean, but once you get past all that, I think, you know, for an hour, she had a, she had a few moments that was um pretty funny to me, you know. It's not a classic or nothing like that, but. I think, I thought uh, it was, I, I'll agree that it was funnier than Chris Rock. I definitely had some moments where I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some unexpected laugh, laughter moments. I had some legit laughter moments. It was when her, um, husband, when her husband made her smell like the pussy, boy. That was. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious, bro. This shit was the funniest one. You want me to eat this? Natasha, what's going on? Hey, Natasha. Good you want me to eat this? I did it with the Kevin Gates. Boy, you want me to eat this? Kevin and went, bro. <laughs> you the West End? Yeah. He eat booty, boy. Yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> Allegedly, he eat. Nah, let me stop. I ain't yeah. gonna go that one. You seen that one? Yeah, I seen that okay, one. Okay, we're gonna leave that one alone. Yeah. Go um, it was. <laughs> there was some points in there where I was like, "Is this like? Is this meant to be like a, a emotional rant?" Yeah, I thought it was an intervention almost. Yeah, like yeah. like is is this supposed to to for you to 
<laughs> lose my words. Was this meant for you to vent, or are you supposed to be making people laugh? Like, you're just playing on people's emotions. If I thought she was playing on people's emotions at, at some points. So, I was like, okay, I get that you're, 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 you're kind of virtue signaling. You're, you're trying to touch people's emotions. So, get back to the jokes. Get back to the funny part now. Yeah. I get it. But um, outside of that, and the, the heavy cursing, like, it's... He- I can understand that you curse. That's no problem. But it's like every other word, man. <laughs> every other word. And it's even in situations where it doesn't even call for it. Like she like she would say, instead of saying, I got in the car, I got in the MF and car. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like at a certain point, it's like it's just uh, excessive, man. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I will say Monique, she she looked nice in the um, in the special. She was re- you know really done yeah. up nice. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know her losing the weight and stuff that really um, helped out. So she really did look nice and stuff. You know, Ma, what you think? Um, I'm picking back up for what you guys said. I thought hands down it was better than Chris Rock. Like it ain't no point if if somebody said it wasn't, you would be on some. Oh, that's a you can you you would be. Really hating on Monique. You really don't like Monique if you say that wasn't better than Chris Rock's. That's first thing. Second thing is, she was teaching a lot to a lot of women in that thing about how to keep yourself. You should be keeping yourself clean. Uh, how you should be, you know, with your with your with your husband. How you should agree. How you should lay it back. She was doing a lot of teaching to a lot of young women. Yeah. And much as you want to say that you don't, because. I'm not going to sit up here and say I hate Monique. I'm not going to sit up here and say I like Monique. I'm just in the middle of the fence. She's funny. She's funny. I'm not no saying I'm, I'm no huge fan, so you can't say I'm just on a bandwagon. But she did teach a lot in that in that, that skit. But women, of how you should be treating men and how women should act and how men should act and all this stuff, she taught a lot. And, you know, the, the thing, only thing that really got me was when she said, you had to accept things that you don't have to. You don't nobody have to accept anything, and this judging thing that just it just keep blowing me with this pe- with this thing where people keep saying don't judge people. You judge people all the time. I guarantee you, if somebody kills somebody, you'll be judging him, talking about he killed somebody. So you can't pick and choose just because it was on the wave on the fence he did that you still judged him. So we not gonna judge. Don't judge nobody for nothing. Thousands, murderers, rapists, kitty. All that. You, I'm just saying. Be careful. Do, do. I know. I understand that. But I'm just saying, if we're going to judge, we can't judge nothing or we're going to judge all. You can't I, yeah. be in the middle. It's like women say we want we want equal, but you don't want all the way equal. You just want equal that benefits you. Yeah. So if we're going to not judge, that's not judge. But don't be judging the things that you don't like until you do like. And then for her to say too, well, it's, it's just no, you know, just think pieces of mind. What I was thinking about while I was sitting there watching it. Because I just got through finished watching it maybe like two hours ago. And another part is what she said. Uh, what she say? She well, you gotta accept, accept because okay, this is gonna probably be a controversial take, and they gonna probably look at me a little crazy too. But I personally, me, Ma, I don't know about my other two uh, no key gentlemen. I don't know how they feel about the LGBT community. I don't care. You is who you is. Do I have to accept it? No. But I also don't have to sit up here and be like. I'm going to hurt you or harm you. No, I don't want to do that either as well. I don't care what you do. That's your thing. But do I have to accept it? No. But do that mean I love you less? No. I don't have to accept the things, though. Just like if I did something I was doing. They don't have to accept it, but they can still love me for me. They don't have to accept every decision I make, but they can still love me for me. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of those things she was saying that you have to accept people when you don't. You don't have to accept nothing. And you don't have to. You And you can judge whatever you want to judge. That's the only, some of the only things that I had in that thing. But overall, it was a pretty good special to me. One of the one of the kind of the best I've seen in a long time. One of the best. <clears throat> yeah, she was definitely um, touching on teaching. Yeah, she was teaching. While she, she, was was pretty, a, she was teaching for real. To, to that point, when she said the uh, her grandmother told her the first person you see when you walk in the house is your husband. Yeah. And the first person your husband should see when he walks in the house is yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's. That's a lesson. I, I hope I hope people are retaining that yeah. stuff like that that she was talking about in the in the. It was, in the it was real bars up in that she was she was spitting. Even though she was making it funny, she was real bars. I'm not gonna lie. 
but but you're right though like it's don't you don't have to accept everything but you also don't have to treat people differently and i think that's what the overall sentiment with that whole thing is okay i think it's because like people conflate disagreeing yes. with disliking yes yes uh-huh. or or they can they they conflate disagreeing with hating yes and and that's what if you're not they the overall sentiment that i get for the most part is if you're not with it then you're against it and that's not that's not true but i think that's what the whole the whole uh special overall overarching theme of the special was well wow. to to accept the everybody should accept the lgbtq I you don't have to accept it. Just don't be one to harm them or hurt them. That's the only thing I see. Yeah, I agree. I can disagree with all your lifestyle, all your choices. That, does that mean I love you less as a human? No. I just don't agree with that shit. And if I don't agree, I don't agree. I'm not saying I agree with it or I disagree. I really don't get two shits because I'm doing what I'm doing over <laughs> here regardless. So I don't care what you is or who you want to be. That's you. Do I have to accept it? No, I do not. That's up to me to accept what I want to accept. You got anything you want to add to that? <laughs> okay, before we before we go on, cause we get we cooking right now, we cooking right now, we cooking. My dog saw John Wick, and we wanted to come oh, to spaces, yes. and we wanted to come to spaces, cause you said, and we. How long before y'all get in that? Go ahead and read that. Uh, what Natasha said. Natasha yeah. said, "Traditional grandmothers have the best marriage tip, tips." My gram says, "A wife is to be pleasant, is to be a pleasant scent to her husband." Which is to be taken literally fig- and figuratively, <laughs> just to be just not just be nice to be around. It's a fact. Them bars right there. Yes, Natasha. Hundred percent. Them them bars. Them bars right there. Salute to you and your grandma. So so okay. Oh, I see you out here. Oh oh oh. Oh. <laughs> you see him? You see him out here, be? You see him? You see him out here being shining. What you get? What you get? Him validation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you, nigga. <laughs> what is this? How you say it? I can smell a nigga with money. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I smell a nigga with money. But yeah, let's get let's get onto this uh, before we already go in. This John Wick. Okay. What spaces say? Last time we talked, spaces said right. I'm going to quote him verbatim. You tell me if I'm wrong. Right, Jerry? You was right there too, right? You were sitting right there. Space was sitting right I was sitting right here, right? Mm-hmm. When it disorder? Yeah. I had on yeah. probably like some blue. You, you were sitting right there, right? I was sitting right there. He said that John Wick was hands down the best action movie he saw ever in life, right? Yeah. I just want to make sure. You, wait, hold on. You ain't going to talk to <laughs> Jerry, that's what he said, right? Yeah, indeed, right? Yeah, indeed. Uh, indubitably. Indubitably? Yeah, indubitably he said that. That's... That's what you said to me, bro. Mine? What yes. Is? No, you, 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 the floor is yours, Mr. Spaces. Yeah, I think it was the, it's the, the greatest action movie I've, I've seen. The greatest. That's, that's huge. Greatest action movie I've seen, at, at the very least in a long time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What would you compare it to? I've been trying to figure it out. I've literally been trying to figure it out. I don't know what I would compare it to. Okay, okay. Because, okay. okay, let's just say, like, Kill Bill. Right? No. I wouldn't even put it up. No. Kill Bill was good. Uh-uh. Okay. No. Because we were talking. You know, that's we was leaving out for, 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 what'd you say? Go ahead. Natasha said that's a that's a lot, but it's a good series. Uh, oh, uh, uh, John Wick. Okay. Yeah. But we were talking, and we were in the uh, locker room, and we were trying to figure out great action movies to compare it to. And one of the ones I came up with was your brother, the one who you say is a... Is it D Silas or something? D Silas actor or D C O D? Will Smith. Yeah, it was like oh, D. Willard. Was it D? Willard. Willard. Oh, N- Natasha, can you share with the fellas what what grade would you give Will Smith's acting overall? No, but you you said it was B. You said it was a B. No, C. D. D. D plus C minus. D plus C minus. But he has one of the great series of action movies was ever created, and Bad Boys. She gave him a C minus. She gave him a C minus. I see y'all talk a lot off air. Off air. That's all I ain't trying to do that. I mean, I ain't no actor, so I can't grade this shit. <laughs> I'm know. not giving no Will kidding. Smith no C. Nah, I can't do that. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't. I ain't been to acting school. I don't know how to act. <laughs> I'm a real motherfucker, so, so, so I can't so, really. <laughs> so, so you saying Bad Boys wouldn't be up there for like one of the most best action movies of all time? Some of the James Bond movies? I haven't seen a lot of the James Bonds. 
just James Bond movies and just, just I, period. I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen one James Bond all the way through. And one of my dudes too, Transporter series. That's one of the greatest action movies. Some of them action movies too. I didn't see any of those. So are are like the comic book joints. <laughs> no. well, you never seen Transporter. No. And you gonna say that Carl John Wick, the best? You ain't, you ain't seen majority of these. Oh, that movies. I've seen. Oh yeah, you did have some. <laughs> I got, got well, I mean, movies. so the comic big book joints don't count as action movies. You talking they? about the Avengers and all that? Yeah, stuff? aren't they action movies? I, I don't know. They they they, they are though. They <laughs> like, are action action sci fi. That still action. Um, I I put those in different categories because with the Marvels, there's a lot of there's a lot of CGI in those action. But the, there's not a it, John Wick didn't use CGI. A, a lot of it, those are actual fights. But it doesn't. That, that's not the definition. You you the definition king, and I know that <laughs> I, I know for a fact that's not going to differentiate what's an action movie and what's not. Well, I, I put them in Hell, two different types of action. No, no, no. See, that's the deal. <laughs> now, you can't do it now because you said you can't do it now because what's your jig is? I mean, uh, uh, what is Black Panther and all that shit? It's action movies. Action movies. Those are action. But action movies with... You, you, you said action. You you said, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going about what you said. And what <laughs> you said. Uh, look, look this, this is his idea. I'm just going about what you said. You said this is the one... I think at the time you said it was the greatest of all time, right? And I looked at you. I looked at you. And I looked at you and said, and, and in my mind, I'm like, damn, I thought these niggas was like Black Panther fans. Like, they at the at the theater eating chicken and shit. You know what I mean? Like, these, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, all that type of shit. So I'm like, damn, this is better. I'm, I'm like, damn, I really got to see this shit. This is better than Black Panther? Sheesh. And I like John Wick, but man, my man say less than 100 words in a damn movie. Which where's the gun? Yes, but and I, actually, I read about that. They said, uh, well, at least what I read said that they, whatever had, this contract they had, they had him. Uh, they had to pay him for each word he said. What? Oh shit! They kept that to a minimum. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can find. He it once again. didn't want to do that shit at all. They Ooh. paid him for each word he said. Yeah, uh, that's why. Because I, even in the movie, while I was watching it, I'm like, why does he talk like it hurts? <laughs> like, he drags out three words. It takes him like five seconds to say three words. So, um, but yeah. Uh, I want to be remembered as a loving husband. <laughs> <laughs> he had like one liners. Like, it was a three album film. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. It was three hours, but we was in there for a minute. I ain't going to lie, though. I like the little aerial view, like when they were, uh, mm-hmm. you know, with the shotguns in the house. And, in the house. That, that was cold. Like, for like five minutes, they was going crazy. Around $40,000 each word? In the latest installment of the saga, Reeves took home a paycheck in the region of $15 million. According to Fandom Wire, his character utters only 380 words <sighs> throughout the 169 minutes of the film, meaning that each were all. Each oh, they just did that. They just did. Oh, they just made the calculation. But I mean, I mean, that's that goes to show you that people not gonna pay you what you're worth. They pay you what you negotiate. So if words is a negotiation, otherwise I could see like I, I don't understand why it couldn't be, you know, more just dialogue. Mm-hmm. Like even in the whole series, like I don't know where this nigga came from. Well, why is he <laughs> fighting? Like what the <laughs> fuck is going on? So again, they they need some type of prequels. They need some joints from the beginning. Whoever could play. Uh, a younger Keanu Reeves, and you know yeah. you can make that, that, that another one, two, three movie. Now that be that. that might yeah. get up there. That might be cold. Like him, Keanu, uh, or his character John Wick, without being jammed up in every movie. Like without him needing somebody to save him in every movie. He's been saved in every single movie. When he could have, somebody could have just killed him. Bro, I think it was, I think it was the second movie, when uh, he was in the park. Yeah. And it was a whole bunch of people around, everybody walking, and whoever he was talking to picked up the phone and said, now. And everybody oh, yeah. stopped. Everybody, yeah. I was like, yeah. ooh, that's crazy. That was, I was like, wow, that's that's power right there. And, and he, John Wick knew. All right, all right, I'll chill. I'll yeah. chill. <laughs> but, uh, but I would definitely put... Uh, 
like the Avengers and Marvels and all that in, in different types of action. Okay. If we, because like I, I would put um John Wick with Kill Bill, with Transporter, with Equalizer. Those are all that that type of action. But if we're talking action with like sci fi and CGI, then I have to have a whole group of those and compare those together. Okay. It's like we got WNBA players and then NBA players, but then we got the greatest basketball players of all time. So we, we both who? Yeah. We both doing the same thing, but who's the greatest? This is what right. I'm saying. What's the greatest? Is this the greatest? I, I I don't have a whole lot to compare it to, to be honest. Because I mean, just compare it to the CGI action films. As far as, is this the greatest? It's amongst the greatest, yes. Okay. I mean, I, yeah. can't, I, mean, I can't argue with your opinion. That's you. The- I mean, I mean, at the end of the day, I really don't even rate like action films like that. This shit is just exactly. I'm watching the film. You know what I mean? It's just I'm just immersed in that. But it's you know, outside of that, it's like no story to this really. Like you that's know? the that's the problem with the whole series. <laughs> that's the problem. My problem with that whole series. There's no storyline. It's just constant action all the time. I don't know none of these people who yeah. they're fighting, where they came from. No backstories of anybody. Uh, Kingsman and Kill Bill. Oh, Kingsman! I don't think I've seen Kill Kingsman. Kingsman, nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. Kingsman is real oh, dope. It's King's like a. Man. Is it three? Is it three of them? Natasha, is it three of them? I think it's three Kingsman. Oh, one that's cold from back in the day though. Heat, Heat with uh, yeah. Al Pacino. It's a long movie too. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro and Val Kilmer. Yeah. Boy, what? I'm talking about the shooting scenes. They blowing. Boom, 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 boom. You know, man, that's a good movie. Good classic. I think it's like the order. I think it's three of them. Yeah, it's three of them. It's three, yeah. Yeah, it's three of them. Yeah, Kingsman goes. What about the Bad Boys series? I got Bad Boys up there, though. In my man, if, if I make a top. That was Bad fun to Boy, watch, though. Bad Boys is up there. That the whole series. Up there. Yeah. What? Bad Boys, the series? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got Bad Boys up there, man. Plus, you, I mean, you had somebody that looked like us. You know, I think. Uh, yeah, the first one might be the best, Natasha. You might be on there. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I got to check those. I I'm, 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 I'm kind of with you on that one. Cause the second one was more younger, them younger, and the third one was more back in the day. But the first one, that first first one there, that one was it though. I ain't gonna lie to you, that first one was a hit. Welcome to another episode of the No Key Podcast. It's your man Spaces. This your boy Ma. It's Jay every day. Damn, man. I thought we did the. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> well, what's what's going on, man? How how was y'all last last week? Oh, man, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm alive. I got here safely. Hopefully, I get home safely. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm just good, man. Very I be, good. Yeah, I be, I'm alive, man. People don't <laughs> people take this shit for granted. And I keep saying that shit. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's the truth, man. What about you, James? Oh man, it's been good, man. I think uh, this week I've been. I say I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe I've taken it differently, but. Um, I've been sensing a lot of hostility from the brothers, not you guys on the panel, but um, just against like black men, right? So I'm holding the door open <clears throat> at this one place, uh, at the gas station, I think, you know. And uh, he, the guy's clearly a truck driver because he's coming in on the truck driver entrance. I'm coming out, and I see him, but so I just, you know, open up the door so he can get in, you know. And I'm I'm not no small dude, and this dude's bigger than me, you know what I mean? And, I'm just holding the door, and he kind of, I mean, what's up, brother? What's happening, bro? You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just, and then I'm, it's another guy who's falling, you know, following him. I'm still holding the door so he can get in, and, the, you know, the black dude, he kind of slow struts in, and, you know, he kind of turns back and mean mugs. I'm like, fuck wrong with dude? He acting like I fucked this bitch or something. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, <laughs> who else? <laughs> I didn't say. Uh, it was another, it was like two more instant instances where like, I don't know maybe I, I look serious or something but I mean I'm not even looking at most of the time I don't look directly at people I just kind of look forward because I'm focused on what I got to do right because I'm doing things with a purpose mm-hmm. you know so I'm not sitting up here like oh man look at him but you know what I'm saying? I can tell you can get that energy like they really want to throw down with you you know what I'm saying like if I said something out of pocket like, I'm not even talking to these dudes you know so I was like man what, what's the issue you know, I don't know, and I think as black men, we kind of got to get out of there where we just sizing each other up all the time. 
on some ready to fight shit because the smallest nigga will put you down. Hmm. And I'm not saying I'm a small mother. I'm just saying the smallest, like even the smallest person will put you down. You never underestimate your opponent if, you know, you think that's per that person is the opposition. So, you know, you just got to realize that as a person. But you say that, and it's just that, bro, people out here are really miserable, though. <laughs> it's just, just the like people think everybody be happy. No, they don't. Right, people but I don't. Really I didn't get that. I didn't get that feeling from, you know, uh, the Caucasus, right? You know what I'm saying, the Caucasian, right? I didn't. I didn't get that from them. Like I hold the door open for them, and it's not like it be. Right, hey, 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 thank, yeah, you, thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's not like they're going out their way or scary or something. It's just like whatever. Just you know, thank you. Yeah. And for you know a lot of the black guys, it's like. What the fuck you doing holding the door open for me? You know, right? I'm like, bro, I'm coming out. You coming in? I'm just, you know, showing some respect. Some, you know, hey, have a good day. But and it, and it's also too right. I'm learning, like I keep saying this. I know I've been saying this on a couple podcasts before. I'm really just starting not to like people. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what color you are. I'm just not to like people, bro. Because it's like, like he say, you being nice and you just being jolly going through your day. And it's just people just have attitudes for no fucking... I ain't do nothing to you, bro. It's my first time ever seeing you. You can't say thank you. You can't look out for your fellow man or one man or whoever the fuck they is. You know, nowadays you don't know who the fuck it is. You can't just, you know, misgender somebody. So it's whoever they is or whoever they want to be. It's just you saying thank you. You saying, you know, you're welcome. Thank you. I see you. This, that, and the third. It's like just being aware of your surroundings. To make, like, I'm walking out the door. Mm -hmm. If I see you kind of peek through behind me, I'm going to hold the door. Mm -hmm. I'm not just going to let it close on you. Right. And it's just, I'm going through that right now. In my, even though I be just chilling, I just be cooling it. But it's like, I'm starting to get more and more like, I just want to hang around my people who I love and that's it. I want to get an island and take all my people there and we just <laughs> be cool by ourselves. Because people make you fucking angry. They make you want to, but you already got that within yourself. Like, no, I'm not going to let you fuck up my day. I'm not yeah. going to let you do that. I'm cool, but it's just it's, it's it's just people, and I see why I be want to be at home with my family or with my homies or with people that I love. I don't want to spend my time and my energy with people I really don't fuck with. Naps and Beauty said emotionally stunted individuals are becoming an epide epidemic nowadays. Yeah, yeah, no since every day. Well, I don't. see you see you hang with your brother a lot. <laughs> you know, like, I, I mean, it's just something that I thought about and something I picked up and noticed. I mean, it didn't, like, hurt my feelings or no <laughs> shit like that. I don't, I don't get no fuck. Like I told you, I don't care either way. But it's just like, you know, is that where we are as black men where we, you know, we just got to stare each other down and just... Yeah, for no reason. <laughs> for no reason. be like, damn, bro. Like, it was a... I'm getting at work and I'm holding the door for a... Uh, that's their affiliates, or you know, they work under the same group as us, and I'm holding the door open for him. Motherfucker, look at me up and down. I'm like, bro, we're going in the same place. We're here doing the same job. What's your problem? Hey, Jay, Jay, every day say this to me all the time. We walk into work, right? I uh, speak to some people, and they won't say that, right? And every day, <laughs> we keep walking. We won't even look at each other. So that's why I don't even fuck with people now. I don't say shit. I just keep walking. <laughs> he say this all the time. We can be walking in and get through with whatever we going through. And I, he know me. I'm going to speak regardless, right? Yeah. Hey, every day. I'm like, that's why I don't even say nothing to motherfuckers. Fuck them. And that just keep walking. I have another night. We went, <laughs> hey, we was going through security, boy. I, I, again, we were going through security. He spoke. <laughs> I waited. I said, mm hmm. See, I ain't, that's why I ain't saying shit to that bitch. I ain't saying shit to her, because I already know they got these attitudes where, you know, if you, to me, if you security, you're supposed to be on your P's and Q's. You know, not necessarily be all uh, chum chum and, and happy and shit, but, you know, just kind of speak pleasant, pleasant yeah. right? But, nah, they all into their phone. So, how you know if somebody taking anything? You all in your phone and shit. Like Natasha said, just be nice to be around. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, I think it goes for people in general. And that reminds me of this time I was going to somewhere that was gated. So I pull up to the, they had security. I pull up to the window. The security lady opened the door that she, that she was in and just looked at me. So you looked, looked at her back. So I looked at her back. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I, we, we have literally having a staring contest right now. She wanted so, to make sure her dick was bigger than y'all. <laughs> Big ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's an inside joke. That's an inside. You can keep that in there because motherfuckers don't know what big day name is. Unless you know me every day, you know who I'm talking about. But she was just trying to make sure, hey, boy, I identify as him. And I got him on me. <laughs> what you trying to tell you? That's Big Ding Ding. That's Big Ding Ding right oh. there, B. <laughs> <laughs> Big Ding Ding got space to scare. Like, no, I, I, gotta, I gotta take that out. Big Ding Ding might see this. <laughs> she might be watching oh. this. <laughs> Big Ding Ding. Oh, he ain't even know what we saw. <laughs> no Big Ding Ding. Uh, ding uh, Ding don't play, B. Big oh Ding Ding don't play. Space, space is like. What? 30 seconds late. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. That was big, funny. Big Ding Ding don't play. Big Ding Ding don't big play. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> big Ding Ding don't play. Big Ding Ding follow us, man. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Hit the like, subscribe button. Leave us a comment. Tell us you want us to stop saying that. Oh, man. That's crazy. That's true. <laughs> Go send an email. Oh, shit, man. But, so, one of the things I wanted to talk about I don't know if y'all heard the story. Maybe you saw it or not. Mm-hmm. There was an explosion wow. that killed nearly 20,000 cows. That's crazy. Anyway, you can go down. Uh, I'm going to read the top. The, the anyway, top. you can post that in, in the uh, chat for these people to read or um, yeah. share the screen. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can share the screen. I don't know. We, we're really not that advanced over here. I'm, yet, I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> 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 oh, we killed nearly 20,000 cows. That's a lot of motherfucking state, man. Fuck what they doing. And that's the thing. Nobody knows as of yet. This is what you was trying to read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20,000 cows. 20,000 cows. Well, that was a good barbecue right there. <laughs> well, shit, I would have picked some up. Well, some I would have put some, right picked it up off the ground. It's already charred. <laughs> Yeah. That shit smoke like a yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. That's a good that smoke. In the freeze. What? Freeze that shit? Cut off the good part, yeah. the bad parts. Yeah. Yeah. Let that shit sell off the freeze. Eat, eat, eat the meat and throw away the bone. Hey. You know what I mean? Hey, boy, when you unzip that shit and throw it out, just throw it on the grill, let that chalk get back yeah. on there. Yeah, that, get that crust. We eating about. good, B. 20,000 cows? That's a lot of fucking meat. Oh, that explosion that you're showing don't look like it was 20,000 worth of cows. Yeah. Like, that, that looks like a fairly small one. Yeah. I don't know. What is this? What farm is this? I don't know. What farm? Uh, Where? Nearly 20,000 cows were killed and one person was injured in a massive explosion and and fire at a Texas dairy farm this week, making it the deadliest infernal disaster for cattle in the United States in the last decade. Oh, so this has happened before. All right. Deadliest in in the last decade, yeah. You know who it was? I'm going to tell you who it was. It was Chick Fil A. They want you to eat more chicken. <laughs> they want you to eat more chicken, man. Hey, they ain't shit. Hey, uh, I was on the phone with somebody one time, and they was asking me um, what they said. They was asking me about something about driving trucks, and I was telling them, "Oh yeah, them cattle, hurt, them mm. cattle, you know, drivers make good bank. Like, that's yeah. good ass money." They was like, "What's cattle?" I was like, "You don't know what cattle is?" I was like, "No," and I wasn't trying to like make fun of them, and because maybe you just don't know. I was like, "No, that's." Like traveling like animals, like live animals, cattle. You know, you travel all that. I was like, that's good ass. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I be having to reevaluate, motherfuckers. Like I be like, I really be talking this. Hey, I ain't tell you all the time, right? (laughs) One Saturday, right? I'm driving. You know, I go to uh, when I do my little long runs on Saturday. We was in traffic jam on 94, and you know when the trucks, we be kind of that. You on the side of a truck, nigga. You you can damn near reach out and touch the truck. Mm-hmm. I think I told this story before, bro. I'm sitting, you know, I'm listening to my uh, podcast, I'm chilling. And I just so happened to just, some just said, look, nigga, and I looked dead in the eye of a cow, and that nigga, he looked at me like, rescue, like, what you doing, help? <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, you, you ain't gonna, you gonna just sit up there and let him take me? Like, help. How you know, it wasn't, how you know it wasn't a bull? I don't, how you know, cow, it, whatever. Look, how man, you know I, he didn't say, meh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mean to misgender the cow, because you can identify whatever That's the cow what is in the bad. My bad, cow. It was just a bull, a cow, whatever your gender was, <laughs> bro. His nose can literally touch the tip of my glass in my window. Nigga, I had to roll my window up. I got scared. <laughs> Same move. <laughs> like that shit was funny as hell, man. Oh my god. Do, do do bulls move or just cows? That's a good question. Do they say bull? 
That might be it. Anyway, man. I keep going. Oh, shit. That was funny. That was funny. (laughs) (laughs) Cal, look at you like this. Me. Yeah, he looked at me. Bro, if you'd have saw this while you was driving with me, bro, if you'd have saw this, you'd have probably got scared too. Because he looked at me, because you know you're paying attention. Like, when we drive trucks, we usually look in our mirrors, and we try to pay as much attention as we could, because you know, when shit come up on you, you gotta, you know what I'm talking about, Jerry Day. <laughs> you say the cow was looking next to me. I was looking next to <laughs> And I looked over. The cow said, man. <laughs> and he looked at me, and he was like, bro, you ain't going to help? Oh, you just said that. You ain't going to help me? And it, uh, no, it looked like the nigga nose just got through dipping in the thing of water. His nose was wet as hell. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. That shit, I had to roll up my window after that. I stopped getting fresh out. I cut him AC. What the? Craig in, in next Friday when he was getting jumped. Oh, yeah. They <laughs> <laughs> were just watching. <laughs> Kyle was oh, looking at shit. me like, nigga, you ain't going to hit the lock? Just hit the lock. We'll do the rest. Just hit the lock. But like National Beauty said, man, the farm getting paid big time. You know what I'm saying? By the feds. Because they do shit like this, right? The, the, um, you think about the feds, man. They make people, a lot of farmers burn crops. Right? Oh, they do? Yeah. yeah you get paid this money. Yeah. You get paid for doing, you know, burning crops and stuff like that. So. And on top of that, they don't know. Farmers in this country get some of the leases taxes ever. Like, yeah. people think the rich do. No, when you own, that's why a lot of the rich people own like crops and farms and stuff because you get so much tax deductions and tax write-offs and all that stuff. Warren Buffett big in that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's why people were laughing at Rick Ross because he went and got a bull and put on his property. <laughs> but I bet that motherfucking tax bill went down. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and then don't let you have a good bull where he get other cows and stuff pregnant and stuff like that. Yeah. That's a good one, yeah. But that this just reminded me of... Uh, the, when the egg supply was going crazy and the eggs were going up, yes, and uh, it, it reminded me of when Candace Owens covered it. Yeah. Uh, did I say on the video? Yeah, you did. Mm. Yeah, and it explained in the video, which I'll mm. even I'll even put it in the chat, but it explained in the video why the egg supply was good was, you know, so so it was going down. And eggs were getting expensive and all that stuff, and it was basically because. The food that they were feeding their chickens had a chemical in it that caused the egg, the the, the chickens to not reproduce. Mm-hmm. So you no know, chickens don't reproduce, they we get no eggs. And the video was made. Candace Owens was reviewing a video that was made by a chicken farmer. So that's how Candace Owens got the information. Mm-hmm. But so in the video, the, the the chicken farmer said that they switched their feed, what they were feeding the chickens, and back to normal. And it, it, you, see, you see my connection? Like all these cows are dead now, so price of steak and everything going Especially on. Especially for the summer, right? This is right before, so, you know, grilling season, Memorial Day. Oh, what would be a good question uh, is, Fourth of July, Labor Day. how many cities does that farm supply with stuff? Like how many, like, you know, because it's like one farm supplies so many cities and so many towns yeah. with their food and their, like, a lot of cities go to that one farm to get a lot of their stuff. Right. So how many how many cities or country, towns or whatever you want to call it, towns, cities, states, get their stuff from that farm? Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. You probably want to know, are they, uh, like, an independent or are yeah. they, um, you know, just a, a national chain or brand or something? Yeah. People deal with that. Yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a great question to ask, because then you start going down a rabbit hole of that. Like, okay, they just said cows, right? What about the chickens that was on the farm? You know. Natasha said these are dairy cows, though, so it'll be milk, yogurt, butter, etc. Oh, and I like butter, and butter goes up. I mean, butter is kind of expensive these days too, man. I like especially butter. real butter. That's the only that's. What what other butter is it outside of? for using margarine and all this one. Well, I don't participate. No <laughs> Ask my wife. She know about me, but no, we don't do that margarine shit. You gonna get real butter? Yeah, it's about butter. Butter at the crib, Joe. Butter on everything. Yeah, butter. Butter makes shit better. I ain't gonna lie to you though. You ever just had some toast with just some butter? Butter. What? Toast. You just had bread with butter. <laughs> <laughs> time to toast shit up. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Shit, man. 
Shit, I eat bread and butter all the time. That, pfft, Bible speaks of bread and butter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I was uh, I was watching something, right? Mm-hmm. And it it just made this question pop up in my head. So, you know, who Chloe Chloe Bailey is right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, Chloe and Holly so Bailey. Mm-hmm. So she released an album, mm-hmm. and the album went plastic. Like it didn't go <laughs> platinum. It didn't go gold. It didn't go silver. Oh, shit, Bron, yeah. The album went plastic. Yeah. Right. It sold ten thousand copies. Yeah. Now you know that's a combination of. You know, people. Well, I would say mainly because people don't buy albums anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't buy albums. At people, all. No, it's I just, been years, years. About Shoot, it's almost been a couple decades. Probably. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember last time I did either. But, and it's you know, and what people tried to say was uh, uh, another contribution was she signed to Beyonce's label, which I didn't even know Beyonce had a label, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and. People were saying that it didn't go so well because Beyonce didn't promote it. That could be possible. It probably could have did better. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I didn't hear anything about it. I didn't either. But then, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know a whole. Spotify tells me when a new album comes out. Yeah, YouTube movie uh, music tells me it's like, hey, we got this album for you. Right. Yeah. Not that I'd be looking for her, her album. <laughs> so, but. Yeah. Naps and Beauty said her role in Swarm affected the sales too. You think so? I would think I would have think I would have thought that that would further that would help her sales. What happened in Swarm? Uh, her uh, sales because I do want to watch Swarm, but what happened? Did it... She had a sex scene. Like it was raunchy or some shit. Wouldn't that make her sales go up? That's what I would. That's what I would have thought. Was it? She said Twitter had her head. Oh, they was, Twitter was going, coming at her? <laughs> but I don't think it's up to, like, if you, if you sign to a, a major artist like that, I don't think it's up to them. Like, they can post you and all that stuff, but I don't think it's up to them. It's still up to you, right? No, hell no. Hell no. They you, I mean, to me, why wouldn't you, as, if this yeah, is an artist, true. if this is the people that you sign, why wouldn't you want them to be successful? That's true. I can understand that. But then again, you got to look at it too. Like, Chloe and her sister Bailey, they not always in drama though. You notice that the people that come out with first week sales and that sales be sales like going crazy, it'd be people that's always in drama. They never in drama in 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 like in on the internet. They never like going viral or nothing for doing some negative ratchet shit. You gotta look at that too. Natasha said Drake does not publicly speak on everyone under OVO. Let the work speak for itself. Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think I don't think just because you signed to a man, like it'll help. If Beyonce would have probably posted her on, you know, Beyonce's social media platform, yeah, it would have probably helped. But still, if motherfuckers ain't checking for your album, they ain't checking for your album no matter who put, put it up. I, I don't know. I just don't think you could really judge. Like, what's the streams looking like? Majority of people look doing streaming, right? So, I yeah. mean, album sales is one thing, but what's the streams looking like? Is the streams, she getting millions of streams? What the YouTube videos is looking like? I'm not even going to lie to you, though. Every time a new album come out, I don't never see it. Unless motherfuckers start talking about like how hard it is. Yeah. I don't really look at albums and stuff. I'm just talking about me. I don't know how everybody else get their music or whatever like that. But if it don't come across tight, because I'm a title. If it don't come across like like title or whatever like that, I don't see it. I ain't going to really pay no attention to it unless motherfuckers really going crazy. I'll be honest. Who under OVO? That's a good question. Shit, Drake ain't talking about none of them. <laughs> <laughs> Who's under them? Maybe, uh, what's, what's Buddy Day for the city, man? 600. 600 Breezy? I think he's under them. Who was signed under OVO? Well, this this is... Party Next Door. Okay. he's That was Party five, next door. ten years ago. But he got on a song with him and made him hot. That's not right. So I have to look. Well, I, I mean, I get, I get what she's saying, but I'm just saying, I can't think of it. Shit, he ain't got nobody to talk about. Who was signed to what? Yeah, you. If if these, if what I'm seeing is, the the actual artist you say Chris Brown. Chris Brown, Drake, that's what he's. That's what they say. That's like Chris they say Brown. Artist. Oh, okay. yeah, no. I don't think no Chris Brown is signing over. Yeah. Chris Brown, he, he, he probably on his own. Like, yeah, come on. Pop 
Party next door. Party next door, James Craig, P. Rain. I ain't nobody them none of them motherfuckers rather, but Drake ain't mentioned none of them motherfuckers in Omaha Long. Naja. <laughs> Drake Clone. <laughs> Electrofo. Roy Wood. Roy Woods. No. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know none of the Division. Division is. Division. I've heard Division. But I, I didn't know he was signing that OVO either. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> to be honest, though, this new music just don't be hitting like the old shit, though. Nah, man, I can't. I was, I was just. Nah, it is, bro. What the new music getting harder? It. Uh, I, I listen to R and B, so I don't. Okay. You, you know, I, I. I. So it hit harder than the old shit. The new R and B hit harder than the old shit. Harder. I mean, that, I think that is depending on your individual taste. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, his, his this stuff. When you listen to it, this stuff is good. I didn't say it wasn't good. I said hit harder. Which one is better? We said which one is better. You saying that, that it can still sound good, but I'm saying which one sound better to you? Because I listen to a lot of old shit, and I always do this song. I'm always bumping some old Jeezy, some old Ti, some old Fifty, some old Jay Z. Uh, I very rarely be bumping these new artists. I'm gonna I think there's a difference you. though between like something being good for the era, but then something being timeless. A lot of times I listen to an album that I thought was good at that time. It was, you know, I mean, it was good because it, it fit the era. But I go back now and I listen to it. I've I've matured, right? And they probably matured as artists. But that I go music back, did. And, yeah, that music at that time <laughs> it fit the era. Yeah. But it, you know, it, it was it's just a filler. But you throw on some Isley Brothers, right? You throw on some of those old school cats, some uh, Frankie Beverly and Cool Maze. in the Game, Frankie Beverly and Maze. Timeless, timeless. Uh, Anything, you know, even if some of the guys from the 90s, right? You throw some, uh, some Drew Hill or something timeless. like that. Like, Black Street, Timeless. Mm-hmm. Next, so, Timeless. I think, I think, you know, there's a difference between something being good for now and Jodeci, something timeless. Good for, being good for, you know, just a long time where these people can actually go and go out on tour and sell out tours and stuff like that. Bro, so. them artists still getting millions to this day. They still making like five to two million a year I don't know off about touring. That. I, mean, I don't know. Those niggas look broke. <laughs> niggas look broke. I'm not gonna hold you. They look broke. You mean to tell me one twelve look like they getting it? They eating. They all right. Shit. I mean, you get a link card, you eating. <laughs> <laughs> I think they all right. I think they I'm still. I'm not saying they're not all right, but five ten million dollars. But you but the money, the group money, group. the money is being made if you're the songwriter. You know, if you're just a performer, you're just a person in the group. Mm-hmm. So if you're not the songwriter, you. Probably not seeing a lot of that money. Mm-hmm. So just the top five songs for Chloe on Spotify: thirteen million, one hundred sixty-four million, two million, six million, one million. Okay. Well, so what's the name? I'm gonna listen to it on the way home. In money. pieces. I'm not. And who? I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna give her a shot. I'm gonna listen to it. Y'all do y'all thing, bro. <laughs> but no, no. The, this this generation of music is it can't be timeless yet. No, like, when you hear something, you're going to be like, man, I think, I mean, in your mind, if you've been alive, what, close to 35 years? You, I think you've got experience with mu- uh, music where you can say, you know what? I think they're going to be playing this on V103 one day. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay, when Usher's, come on, Usher's CDs first came out, you like, this shit going to be forever. These are my confessions. Thank, this well, going to be forever. Confessions is, yes. This going to be forever. This is going to be on V103 one day. It wasn't then, but it is now. Confessions is definitely... Uh, uh, what is it? 87... Uh, 8701. 8701. 8701. What would you say? That was going to be on V103 too, right? Some of the songs, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what they are. Chris, a lot of Chris Brown's, you know what I'm saying, shit is going to eventually make it because he's still within the... Yes, and know. Chris Brown got some timeless pieces. Yeah. Now you go back and listen to some... Yeah... I was like, what? <laughs> that Chris Brown is nice and what's his call? Um, I ain't no good singer. I ain't gonna feed yourself being flies. Like oh, we hear you. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we got them flies. We but, hear you. But, but, the, but one where he was um, like dancing down the street on the pole and shit. The nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Yeah. That one. That's a classic right now, since yeah. this day. Yeah. He was about what, 15, 16? Yeah. You said we was dancing down the street? He was dancing down the street. That was yo. It was yo. So it was yo. Let me see. Uh, let's go ahead. But <coughs> I heard so, Tink is really good too. Who? Tink. Oh. You don't fuck well? 
she all of her music sound the same. It's all the same subject. It's literally like I should have cheated on you. Why'd you cheat on me? That's ninety percent of her music. Mm, okay. Like that, all that shit. Okay. I mean, I feel it's like there's no really like R and B is my relationships. Like how much? I mean, <laughs> how much we gonna sing about? I just it just like you can. With I mean, the, Mary with J. The, Blige and me. Classics off of just being dogged as a, as a woman. Yeah, that's, you know a fact, I mean? yeah, that's a fact. I throw some Mary on the way to the crib. Can't tell me that shit ain't classic. <laughs> I told y'all when he when we was talking about what we we had that discussion where somebody was saying uh, Beyonce a beat Mary J Blige in a versus. I was like, what? Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. No, sir. No, no. You can't say no because I look at it like this. If you have heterosexual men singing your shit and don't give a fuck about singing it, <laughs> and you know they don't have a gay, you don't, they don't have a bone, a, 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 what you call a bone in their body? I don't want to say the actual word that I really want to say. You said it. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, bro, I'm not saying gonna, it. No, I'm I not saying it. Boy, they going to run the chase. <laughs> they already heard. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have, no, not that word. I would have said oh. that word. The other oh, word. oh. <laughs> that right oh, with yeah, me. Man. No, man. Don't do that. <laughs> but they don't have one of them bones in their body, yeah. and they sing it proudly. You're not going to have a bunch of them singing the same uh, Beyonce songs. Yeah, when I see niggas singing all the single ladies. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Uh, <clears throat> but the reason why um, this story stuck this story stuck out to me and mm-hmm. it actually made me mad. What story about? About. Uh, Coy, Coy Bailey? Yeah, Coy Bailey. So one of the reasons that they said, that people were saying her, her Chloe's mm. album didn't do so good was because she made a song with Chris Brown and Chris Brown has a his, has a his particular history uh, with black women. Mm, okay, well, I mean, it's always blaming black men thing. We can move, like... Because yeah. <laughs> they try to blame that man for everything. Like, y'all ain't gonna let that go. Like, they always talking about, you know, you should let things go, let people grow and learn from them. So you think the average listener is like, damn, she made a song with Chris Brown. I'm just going to go ahead. Like, that's people who on Twitter who ain't got shit to do. (laughs) They weren't going to buy the album anyway. Like, you know, (laughs) I don't know. Now, Option Beauty, I get you on now. Ari Lennox and um, Jasmine, Jasmine Sullivan is one of them good ones, too. She can actually sing, too. Ari Lennox, Jasmine Sullivan are some of the few who could actually sing. And storytell in new school R and B. Yes, Ari Lennox, man. Ari Lennox is dope. Jasmine Sullivan is dope. Jasmine Sullivan kills it. Like, yeah. Jasmine, like I bust the windows out your car. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, look at her. She dangerous. You bust the windows out my car, boy. I'm calling the police. You finna get it. Uh, uh, um, what? Damn. What, what kind of charge is that? A vandalism man. charge, at least. Sheesh. Yeah, we're going to get three to six I'm months. Put, I'm putting you in jail, too. Definitely getting three to six. That's a class A misdemeanor or something. I'm putting your ass in jail. That's the one you're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's jail. Hmm. Uh, oh, I thought she said something else. But that that just made me mad, man, because how how I don't even remember hmm. how long ago that was at this point. Where Chris Brown did that? Yeah, what, 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 the whole situation with him and Rihanna. Like, Boy, she, she put the paws on him first. Yeah. Right, that's how the story went. <laughs> that's right? how the story went. Like, so I'm, that just, if y'all are gonna keep using that, I mean, look, my man ain't never served no jail time. If he went to the jail behind it, cool, you have a good case. I don't. I mean, whatever. That, that's some relationship things. You people are in toxic relationships all the time. You getting your ass beat the fuck up. <laughs> just so I mean, yeah, you've been shit. taking ass weapons for two years. Yeah, you want to talk about? Oh, Chris, look at how Chris Brown did Rihanna. Look, they went their own separate way. She on baby number two. He got God knows how many kids. So I mean, chill out. And just been chilling, minding his business. He stay at his little mansion in, in California. Don't bother nobody. But every time you look up, they putting this man's name in their mouth. About women talking about he didn't came to a party, he didn't did this to him. It's, his name just always, that's one of the celebrities that names just always keep ringing for no reason. But it's just like at, at a certain point, what, what point do you point the finger back at her and say that she did something wrong? She wasn't doing something Ooh, right. Were you, what? What you say? 
Oh, uh, Chloe, Chloe Bailey. Chloe, yeah. Oh, I thought you said Rihanna. Why Chris Brown beat her? You was asking her why, why, you, why, he, why he beat you like that. Oh, What'd no. you do? Oh, uh, yeah. I was, like, <laughs> well, I was gonna say, you on your own. Oh, no. They gonna get you. You, no. you on social media too? They finna hit your page. I, I think I feel like with the Chloe Bailey situation, it's just, again, nobody's buying albums like that. Nobody's really buying albums. To get 10,000, I mean, some of the, be- the best artists within the past, you know, 10 years couldn't pull 100,000. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, who you expecting to buy this shit? Like, the only way you're going to really. You can't measure buying albums anymore. It's just nobody's buying albums. Like, measuring buying DVDs. Right. People streaming it. Like, I'll stream it before I buy it. Yeah. How many times are you going to watch a DVD in the crib? Never. Right. No, I'm just saying, like, if you. Yeah, you bought it. Even back in the day. Yeah, you might have liked the movie or whatever. But you got other DVDs. I'm not finna keep watching this. It's not like a, a CD where you can just run that back, run that back, run that back. But mm-hmm. now that you got streaming, yeah, it's like shit, I can do that unlimited, and I can pay, you know, and I can do that for anything, any other music that I want to listen to. You for the segue that? I, I didn't even mean to connect the two. About the uh, hidden women and stuff. <sighs> so. I read, and this just this actually just came um, across my my feed on Facebook. The Jonathan Major situation, right? Proven fact, it's been proven that he didn't do anything, right? Mm-hmm. Lady White, huh? Lady White. <laughs> The lady, oh, I don't like that. Idea. You know she is, brother. You know she. I is. just wanted to, you know. You know she I, is. Just, you know, you got to put that out there. I ain't even see her face and I know she will. I think she is. <laughs> Me too. She is, right? Okay. Natural beauty yeah. saying yes. So. But. Amen. What? <laughs> Amen. Leave them alone. Niggas go learn them. <laughs> you go learn them. Oh, we, we can say hey, what we want to about the black woman and all on and so on and so forth. Go learn about dealing with <laughs> the white women, boy. Look, hey, I got another one for you. I, who I, do I, with him all the time. Who deal with him deal with him back in the day? Who that's what we say he always mess with. Michael Irvin. Oh and he was standing 30, 40 feet away from the bitch. Michael Irvin. <laughs> they got him on camera not talking like she she over there, all the way over there. And he, you know what I'm saying, standing here, hey, hey, nice to meet you. you yeah. know, okay, I'm finna go back up to the room. And people always say that. Oh, oh, I've been dealing with hundreds. It only take one to fuck up your whole life, brother. It only take one. Sister ain't gonna do no shit like that. Oh, man. That's a, we gonna talk out. That was, boy, that line there. What? That was a good line. What? Because we were talking about something before, but what you said, I'm talking about, nah, this is something private. Okay, yeah, I okay, think okay. This, this is, that was funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Remember what you said, though. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Well, the situation with with Jonathan Majors, um, he, he he was I didn't watch the movie before he was a um, he was <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was me that was my bad. Um, the situation has basically caused him to possibly be recasted as Kang in the movie oh, that he was in. They for, do that for real? Possibly, bro. But why don't it was? But that's the thing though that that type of shit right there that that's blows my, me. That irks me. That irks me. That irks me to my soul because a lie, bro. Thank you. And then ain't nobody gonna come out and apologize and say nothing. Now your whole thing. That's why they say we gotta be perfect. She said, "Ooh, my bad." <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be I perfect. I can't imagine that, man. Like what? The fuck is this? It's like as a black male, you can't be single out here because then they look at you as being gay, right? So then that's why a lot of them end up in a relationship, right? Yeah. So at the very least, they don't want you around here smashing on all the. Uh, Single women, you know what I'm saying, within the industry. See, as a white male, you can be around here in the industry and, and be single forever. Mm-hmm. Black male got to be married. Not to say, you, you know, you don't, you shouldn't be married, but I'm saying, like, look at Michael B. Jordan. Mm-hmm. They, you know, a lot of times, I hope no, nothing happened to him. Right. You know, he liked the, you know, light, bright, two shades from being whites. I thought so, he liked the Latinos? T- light, bright, two shades from being whites. My bad. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, my bad. I mean... Talk to some of them. They say I am Spanish. Spain is in, in Europe, so shit. That's white. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but 
I'm not gonna say my my, my dog name. I done said it before, but we always got into it. Like, I ain't gonna say we got into it like that about that, but he always used to be like, cause you know we was out chilling. We was younger, and he used to talk to him, and I just be quiet. It's like, bro, why you don't never know, bro? It only take one. It only take about all, all my my family members, all of them. It only takes one. You would be sitting up there trying to get out of that hole for the rest of your fucking life. Remember, Fuck with them. I remember when you was arguing with me? me? Yep. About what? Oh. When you when, oh. when we were having a discussion about the actual. Oh, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. You right. You right. You right. Versus a lie. You right. You right. You right. I have no questions. I'm, I can admit when you had a valid point, you were right. You had a valid, valid, valid point. This is crazy, man. I just, I just can only shake my head like that's crazy. It is. It's, it is crazy. And and there's no disrespect, like, but ain't that the same thing when we was going? When we was talking about uh, dating outside your race and stuff, and we was talking about how I was talking about you can love who you want to love. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And we had a, a I had a, a a valid conversation with Stogie. Yeah. About this, we were sitting there, we were talking, and he was sitting up there talking about, oh, so you're gonna sit up there and say this about, you know, black women this and black women have attitude this and all that stuff. I was like, bro, we always give black women having the most attitude when that's not the woman that always had the most attitude. It's Latino women. Latino women had some of the stankiest attitudes you can ever see in your fucking life. Sometimes they might be the most submissive, but when they when you do something that they don't like, that Spanish and shit come out with the English. Well, I'll chop that up. Is all women like like women in general just gotta like? Just got you know yeah. I mean, it just is what it is. But but I can deal with the black women. What I know he's gonna probably say. I just don't that. look, man, because I remember I was at a damn. This was years ago, right? But we was at this um, Solante's in Forest Park. It's a fact. And you know, we on the pool table. Me and I forget who I could have been there with, bro. And the white ladies, white ladies, they come over and like, oh, can we play with y'all? Well, you should have seen the look on my face. <laughs> no. And she seen it. And she said, oh, uh, I'm not trying to. I said, no, nah, no, nah, y'all can have the table. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no problem. I don't want no problem. No problem. Like, nah, no problem. Nah, I, I can't shoot pool with your ass. Hell no. <laughs> Play with you. And, and then people will, will sit up there and say, oh, so you think just your race should be. Man, look, man, do what you want to do, first of all. This is our personal opinions. Like I always say, this is my personal opinion. And like me and Stogie was talking about, so he was like, oh, so you can't, so you care about if, if a, a, a white man is with him? No, I say, what I care about is I want to see my black brothers with my black sisters. If you got you a white woman, cool, fine. You in love, do your thing. I don't care. It don't fuck with me either way. But I'm saying what I would like to see and what I love seeing. That's a difference. Yeah. Nah, so, I'm with you. so if you, but if, if you're a black dude and you got your white woman, cool, be in love, bro. How you some little mixed babies, some little Tr- Tracy Ellis Ross running around here and all that stuff and mix some monkeys? <laughs> you can have all that. Do all that, bro. I'm cool with that. You can do what you want to do. I'm not saying that it's wrong either way. All I'm saying is when you have you, somebody that's from your race, even if you're white, Chinese, Japanese, Japan, Korean, whatever, they understand you more when they're from your culture. That's what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck how much you grew up in a black community. I don't give a fuck how much you grew up in a Chinese community, white community, or whatever. You're not them. You're never going to relate to them to that much. I don't care what you say. How much you grew up in them, how many goals, a white person putting their mouth in Florida, how many twicks you have in your head and all this, you still ain't going to never be black, bro. I don't care what you say or how you do it. You're not. You're so, never going to get that. So my thing is, and I feel you're on all that, right? So if you get you a black woman, that's fine. For me, because I tell my son, as long as you ain't coming home with no niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's the day and age we at, right? I, I feel like we we pass on. I mean, look, get your black woman. Yes, that's what I want you at, right? Yeah. Right, but if it's a, you know, you got to take one of these other women yeah. before fucking with niggas. <laughs> take one of these other women, and, you know, or, or be by yourself, right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and then you have niggas like, oh, well, shit. If you're going to be that way, at least be with a black nigga. You know? No, man. Oh, they had that other uh, piece network, too. Yeah, yeah. If you're going you to be that way, at least be with a... No, 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 no. So that's where I'm at. Be, be with... If you go get you a woman. And, and you look, know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at. Yeah. All right? And look look what he said. Now, don't take our root for words and misscrew them and take what... The man was just blatantly what he said. He didn't say he didn't like him. He didn't say that. He said what he wanted his son to be with. 
Don't try to run and clickbait yeah. and do that shit like, oh, he got, no, he didn't say that. He did not say that. He didn't say that. Yeah, he said his son. That's what he wanted his son with. <laughs> what he's, what he's accepting, he don't accept in his house. Yeah, that's what his y'all problem. Doing over there? Y'all can be with niggas. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you got them lined up. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, so um, the direct.com, a new report revealed that the kind of actor MCU could look for if, if it had to replace Kang the Conqueror actor or Jonathan Majors. Bro, what the fuck? Over some allegations. After recently having made his Marvel theatrical debut earlier this year in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania Majors, whose multiversal villain is being touted as the next big bad of the franchise, found himself in hot water after being arrested for alleged assault. And and he played that role. I know you saw Ant-Man? No, I didn't see it. Oh, I can't talk to you. Go ahead, it's fine. I don't, I'm, no, I'm I don't want you to, like, you know... Knock on my window and say, you spoiled that on the fucking podcast. No, no. I, then you I, know how he don't cuss? He'll start cussing. Then if I spoil something for him, he will cuss. That's how I'm going to get you to cuss. I'm going to spoil something for you. I'm going to get you to say a cuss word. No, I, uh, I'm not really interested in Ant-Man. Are you not? It was good, though. It was really good. I, I'll watch it, but I don't, I don't mind spoiling it. Oh, okay. But no, no, he played a, he played a, he played the role really good. I'm not going to lie. He, But in, the, um, what else was that? In The Witch, in the, what you call it? The um, Scarlet Witch movie with, um... Doctor Strange too. Mm-hmm. She played it real good. He played Kane the Conqueror in that really good. It's like he was made for that role. I he was in Scarlet Witch. Yeah, with the um Doctor Strange too with Scarlet Witch. Oh, I didn't see Doctor Strange too. Oh my god, you was not a nigga nerd for real like I thought you were. You're not one of us. <laughs> <laughs> You're not one of us. My man, my <laughs> man, my man. You got one of us, man. Yeah, man. Well, what sound man, Dave? <laughs> Sound man, what the fuck? Chime in or something. <laughs> oh shit, man. Riding around on his little electric scooter. Go oh, yeah, man. Yeah, man, and then I, I just looked at another well, I, I stumbled on this one just trying to find the part about Ant Man. Apparently he's supposed to be in a, a Dennis Rodman biopic, forty eight hours in Vegas. So is he supposed to be Dennis? Yeah, he's supposed to be Dennis Rodman. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> like them recent pictures. Oh, yeah, shit. I just see that boy. Oh, what do you think of that? <laughs> the the pictures, like I was like, is that necessary? Like, hey, boy, why why are you? It was looking just real sultry, you know, it's real suspect. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's, come on, man, yeah, yo. What you think? What, did you see the pictures of him and Michael B. Jordan? Hey man, I have no comment, man. It's beyond me. <laughs> hey, well, my pay guess grade. What, hey boy, we were sitting at the job. And I asked Jay every day because I knew, I knew. You, you, when you know your brothers, you know your brothers, right? And I told him about it. He said, what? <laughs> he said, what? He said, I can't find it, bro. <laughs> he went looking for it. He said, boy, I bet I see that shit. That shit was funny. He said, yeah, that's beyond me. Boy, that shit was crazy as hell. Because you think about it, man, like any, for people to justify, see, first, Jonathan Major already had a little controversial photo shoot before, right? Mm-hmm. His legs all spread oh, yeah, and shit yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And, you know. Oh, I didn't well, even make that connection. Right. Yeah. So, but now we, they, they took it up a notch. And think about it. If it was, you know, not to say we would do that, right? But if we sit up there, we, I know, right? But if we were to have, hypothetically speaking, those type of photos, motherfuckers would look at us some type of way, right? So how is they not looking at them some type of way? Hey, I don't even like taking pictures, period. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, man, that made, that kind of made it worse. Because uh, regarding those pictures, it was only one, uh, it, was, what, it was like four of them, four pictures or six, or whatever. It was only one of them where I was like, okay, that's, that's real suspect. The other one that I thought, I thought it was just. It was just too close to me, man. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, this, like, me and my dog, right? We sit at lunch. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's always like, he over here. You know what I'm saying? We ain't like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Doing no wild space, shit. Be, some space, man. Yeah. Be, be, some hey, space, man. Like, it's, it's a grown it's just ass a man. Fact, it's just a simple fact. Uh, you be that intimate and close to somebody you's intimate with. Like, I want to feel your energy, your presence. I wanna, <laughs> how I say it, I want to smell your breath. That's my thing. 
smell that nigga. <laughs> I don't need to smell my dog breath. If I smell it, hey, bro, your shit kind of tart or something like that. But I don't need to be, yeah, I don't need to be all up in your space, man. That's personal space to me. So that what, that's what Lori Harvey smell like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh shit, man. Lord have mercy, man. Let me see if I can pull up the pictures real quick. There they go. See. There they go. Put that I see that one. Put that in the link, link in the, Well, they probably already seen it, but yeah, come on, bro. Come on, man. That first one, man. Nah, this man. One, this one. Yeah, man. Nah, man. <laughs> no. No. No, y'all not brothers. Y'all not, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and why you got your lips poked out, uh, Michael B. Jordan? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Y'all are supposed to be two strong, masculine black men. You know what I mean? I'm not saying brothers can't be in pictures and shit together. I'm not saying brothers can't hug or no other crazy shit, but you, come on, bro. Like, <laughs> come on, man. It's all, and that's the thing. It's like every time that, you know, you had, especially these are younger brothers, right? So you got, we have to, to make this. <laughs> that's the beauty going on. She must have heard this already, Sister J. Uh, we got to, we got to, like, it's always like the industry trying to make, you know, the guys look, you know, like they switch at us. Yeah, like feminize them. Yeah, yeah, switch at us. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that that one, the one I just put in the link, it's like, all right, come. You got to be. Well, these like two are the same. Money. Okay, I was trying to see if they were. Yeah, yeah, it was, that's a little. That's too far. But did you see? Did we talk about Creed? I didn't see Creed. We did. We talked about. Creed. Yeah, y'all talked about. Because we said the CGI and everything was good on it. Yeah, like, I got Michael That's B. another one I was meant to. Yeah, Michael B. Jordan did his thing in that. I'm not gonna lie to you. The directing that it was like his deck directorial debut. He yeah. did an amazing job in that. I can't fly on that one. He did an amazing job. In now, on, uh, but that's all I got for the um, Jonathan Majors thing. Yeah. But robots are coming for jobs, bro. Oh, we've been to it. We've been, we've been, we've been talking about it? It's getting to the point now, though, that I can see, I've seen the registers. Right, I've seen we we seen the registers of Walmart and all this stuff, but how progressive it's been, mm-hmm. it's getting to the point where stuff that I didn't even know could, I guess, anything can be automated, but I didn't think was going to be automated, is going to be automated. Like what, bro? So this is all. Actually, I'm gonna send the uh, put the link in the chat real quick. For one, it's in the New York Times. So, the first part of it says the police cordon off block of. No, that confused me. The police cordon off block of Times Square on Tuesday made the so-called crosswords of the world look even more dystopian than usual. There were two security robots that onlookers compared in appearance to R2D2 from Star Wars or Dalek from Doctor Who. As well as a gun-shaped device that the police offer. Bro, you know what I just realized? Black Mirror is coming to coming to life, bro. Not just Black Mirror, man. Even prior to that, like, I mean, uh, the Terminator. Terminator. Just for the sound, I was trying to uh, wait till you get through. It's coming. Yeah. Y'all gonna see Cybernet destroy everything? Cybernet, That's gonna uh, be the motherfucking killer humans. What's the one where uh, he go out of space? 1984, the dystopian movie, uh, uh, book of George Orwell's 1984. I think I have ever told y'all that I was reading a thing or I was on a podcast and I was reading an article where, right, they were saying it was two. Yeah. What the hell is it? That's from uh, Black Mirror. Black Mirror. Uh, They were saying where they had two computers, right? They were in the room. Yeah, they were talking. And they were talking to each other. Mm -hmm. And they start to figure out, and they say they start communicating back and forth. They say they had to snatch all that shit out and then plug this shit. Yeah, I remember that. So you think, and then you think they're not going to talk to each other? Like, same thing with, was it the Avengers when the uh, when they, uh, when they the robot had seen that, when, they, when he made Jarvis? Mm. Which one was that? Iron Man? No, it wasn't Iron Man. When Jarvis, huh? Ultron. Ultron. Oh. Well, Ultron came so smart because he looked through everything, a thing, and he said... The only, because they were trying to stop the world of all these weapons. He's like, y'all are the weapons. 
I need to destroy y'all. Y'all the ones who destroying everything. It's humans. Mm, bro. This shit is kind of... You know what, man? At the end of the day, I don't get no fuck about none of that. Because ain't nothing I can do about that. I mean... <laughs> any suggestions on stopping this shit? There's no suggestions. You can't do nothing. Right? Only it's thing, coming. I mean, look, at, at a smaller level, what you can do is stop going to your fucking Walmarts. Right? And, you know, just on a smaller level. Like, you know, stop... Stop going. Any place that's... That has things like this. You got Denny's and shit, and they got the little robots and stuff. Yeah, Come, sir, yeah. Stop, stop supporting that shit. Y'all stop supporting any other thing. Y'all stop supporting Budweiser, right? Because uh, of the but, little trans uh, but, like, situation, right? Y'all, y'all stop that. Budweiser, Budweiser lost three billion dollars. But, like, but, but that's Budweiser, though. That's under Budweiser. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. They lost, they lost three billion dollars. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So. I mean, you. I mean, we. we I, I don't know if we gotta, you know, wait until some shit, you know. People not though. Like you say, this is beyond us, bro. It's coming. Yeah. Cause people are not gonna stop. Cause people like things that's more convenient. This and more convenient that. Well, like Jerry Day said, if we stop on a lower level, stop supporting this shit and be like, no, I want to talk to a real human. I don't want to deal with no robot. I want to talk to a human. And if you, the more people do that, and the more people start spending their money there, they're gonna bring back humans. Cause that's what the money is at. And it's also it, even more than that. It's in, increasing un, uh, un, uh, taking away jobs. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say yeah. increasing unemployment because it's like this is a robot security dog uh -huh. that they were talking about. And actually, this the, this the picture that. But but you gotta look at it like this too. When you take away those jobs, right, and you put more people out of employment, what's gonna happen? The have-nots is gonna start coming for the haves, mm. and it's gonna get ugly. Oh, and then they're gonna sit. They're gonna sick your uh, them robots on your. That's, that's your still that's, that's cool too, but it's still gonna happen though. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I you know at a certain point it's like what can you do against the robot? Exactly. I mean let's keep like keep it a bean. What you gonna do against this motherfucker? It ain't like you in a room full. You you niggas are storing up bullets, not EMPs. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> we need to start getting EMPs ready. You need to start figuring out how to get these EMPs. Because the microwave yeah. might turn on you in a minute. That's a fact. Go try to transform them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. Read uh, Natasha's. What she said? Uh, Natasha said, as of earlier this year, there's a robotic security dog in my city's metro system, Montreal, Ooh, Canada. Yeah, uh, Natasha's from oh, shit, Canada. Boy. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she with that? Yeah, well, I, I want to go visit uh, Montreal before I take my daughter to France. So that's the shit, plan. I might be with you, bro. Yeah, Montreal. I got mine, go. too. I got mine. Mine yeah. came in the mail. I want to go mine, with you. Mine coming soon. I, I want to come in the mail with you. You can be my, <laughs> one of my stamps. Yeah, me and Jerry Day. Yeah, Worldwide. Yeah. The Worldwide. No Key Podcast. Going. That's not overseas. That's just across the border. She said my French is what? Trash? That's okay. Oh, all right. Well, hey, boy, I got a D in French. So, you know, <laughs> I guess his D is passing over here in America. In the U.S. Yeah, man. The season season four, what was it? Season four, episode five? But you just got to look at it, though. All the movies that we yeah. look at, mm -hmm. it comes. it's going to come to fruition, though. You, mm -hmm. you got to look at a lot of these movies, like, like you said with Terminator. You don't think that that shit can happen in real life where Skynet blows up everything and the robots mm -hmm. just start taking over everything? Mm -hmm. They start building and repairing themselves. They don't need humans no more. Once they start talking to each other like that, AI shit, when they start talking to each other and understanding each other's language and going back and forth, they can repair whatever they need to repair. It gets to the... For me, it's like, why? Like, what's the point of this shit? What, what are you trying to do? <laughs> like... Um. Between that, hold on, real. Between that and you know the hadron collider, and you opening up black holes, just do, like you got these different private entities and groups just doing wild shit everywhere, <laughs> and it's like why? <laughs> we so there's people out here legit hungry. We got legit so food storages. I mean uh, shortages. You know we got we still got diseases. Y'all claim y'all ain't got no cure for AIDS and so on and so forth. But you open up a black hole. But you oh you're trying to open up black holes. You're trying to get computers to sit up here and talk to each other on some stupid shit. Like bro, come on. I have no qualms of what you just said. I have no qualms at all. But I think what they these is these nerds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that y'all steady watching their fucking movies. I'm gonna blame y'all because <laughs> y'all watching their fucking movies <laughs> and you help. Support the next venture and wild ass shit they be doing. You probably got a factor, man. 
I just want to see Mario the other day. See? Do 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 do. I actually want to see that. I heard it wasn't that bad. I've heard, I've heard more than that. But, um, <laughs> no, the, I think what the, I think it's all on the umbrella of convenience, right? Because mm-hmm. everybody wants everything convenient. And companies, what this is what I'm gathering, companies are taking the idea of convenience into, their, into this level and eliminating payroll hours. These people insurance, are wicked. And, and, but uh, human to, error. But to how much convenient though? Do you want it to where you just don't do anything? That's where it's headed. To just not do anything. Like you have a robot that go grocery shopping for you, put it up, cook it, bring it to you in your bed, mm. and you just stay in your bed with a virtual reality glasses on all day. That's what they want. I mean, look, even we talk about internet, four G to five G, right? Yeah. Hey, bro, like, what? How fast do we need to go? Shit, you could type in some shit right now. It's already like that. Like, what the fuck are y'all trying to do? Oh, this is for the your, your little robots. Oh, this is for your <laughs> little toys. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 bro, they, I heard some say 10G, too. They got 10G. See? I promise you, I heard, I don't know if it was Verizon or one of these companies said 10G. I heard a commercial. You know what I've come to realize? I've come to realize things are created... Not necessarily, because we were talking about this right last week, how men created things out of love a lot of time for women. But I think things are really created out of hurt, right? Because mm. clearly these nerds are not getting no pussy. You know, what <laughs> I mean? like there's no time. <laughs> you know, so it's like, man, let me go make a bitch, right? You know, it's like I'm finna go make one and so I'll have like your flashlight, right? Like, bro, why are you doing that? Pocket pussies. Uh-huh. Why? <laughs> I'm serious. The, the stuff is being, these things is being made out of hurt. The, the old, the, whatever the women are using these days, who hurt you? Gotta ask the nerds this shit. So, uh, I also, on the same token, found an article that said, uh, hold on a second. There we go. Fully automated McDonald's. We knew that shit was been coming. McDon- oh, we got half of that shit done. McDonald's unveils first automated location. Social media worry it will cut millions of jobs. I'm not going that no way, Joe. I barely go to McDonald's, bro. I, where the Culver's at? When Culver's died. I gave Culver's. Culver's it. Culver's slaps. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you, though, bro. We on the gourmet burgers now. Bro, Small cheval. Getting, getting real money, bro. My first stock with all that shit. I'm just, I mean, bro, it's just... A lot of times we we eat shit, you know, or just things in general. We just settle for stuff. Yeah, we do. Right? That's what McDonald's is. Right, you just settle for it because they're open. You just settle for it because, um, you know, it's cheap or something like that. But it is. It is true that it's cheap. It's cheap. Yeah, you right. you you're more satisfied by just going either a making it at home yeah. or going somewhere where you know what, um, like a I wouldn't say yeah or whatever Five Guys or something like that. Them expensive ass burgers, but it's more enjoyable. You know what? I can taste my food. Yeah. It's not anybody back there just slapping it on there. Meat then fell on the floor and they put it back up there. And you're not sure if it's real meat. Like, it tastes like real meat. Potato burgers be fire too, though. Yeah, whatever you like. (laughs) (laughs) Whatever you like. Whatever you like. (laughs) Portillo's, you know. That's the Chicago thing. I ain't going to say the beef, but the burgers, the burgers be fire. Small Cheval. Fuck with it. If you're in Chicago. Yeah. That's a Chicago thing. McDonald's opened its first automated. Hold on, Naps and Beauty just said something. Uh, Naps and Beauty. There are still jobs, careers that will require human labor. The competition for them would be extremely high, though. And that's that's, that's gonna be it too. It's gonna that's be gonna a, be it. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be whoever underbid who. Yeah. It's and it's really. It, it's a, even, and yeah, I'm noticing that you more now than ever. Do you really need to? What what's what's she just saying? To to get the jobs and careers that require your human labor is going to be crazy competition for them. It's going to be who's going to be. What you mean? Okay, so you say, this is going to throw a number out there. You say you would take it for twenty dollars an hour. All right, I'll take it for seventeen fifty. 
Oh. Then Jay Redair come like, fuck it, I'll give it to you for flat even, 15 flat even. Nah, boy, took the job. See, this is, this is, this is the conundrum we're in in this country already, right? We have so many people with no disrespect for, to outsiders and things like that. But if, let's say, for instance, something's a, a flat rate, right? This is what they pay here, $20 an hour, right? Mm-hmm. Don't come along just because wherever you're from, you know, if you could do the job, do the job. But we pay $20 an hour here. Don't come over here and try to cut it in half. No, that's what I'm saying. That's what's going to happen. Right, but that's, to me, that becomes, so that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't <laughs> do that to you because I know my worth, yeah. right? You know what I'm saying? It's not, again, it's not what you can uh, uh, it's not what they pay you; it's what you negotiate. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right. So shit, I, I, I'm gonna negotiate higher. Yeah, that's so far. I'm not coming in at seventeen. I need just 20 because years. somebody's paying ten dollars an hour. You know what I'm saying? Willing to go down. Okay, are the quality gonna be as good? Yeah. They trying to get. You know what I'm saying? Now you're cutting call. You know, to get things done, you're cutting corners, so you can make money. Mm-hmm. That's so far. Right. So there's gonna be a lot of issues and injuries on the job you know so when and you do when people do start cutting corners you, you see them cutting their work too or and, when you uh, go ahead. Oh, and, and you know the that. people that come over here to do that is the foreigners mm-hmm. they they because they trying to send it back over there. and I'm, it's, it's, it's just the honest truth though because like in the, in the industry we in who come over here and who cut costs the most oh he, he's right to a degree because at the end of the day i was telling uh i think i was telling spaces this right I was, I'm not spacious, I was telling uh, Stogie this, uh-huh. and I was saying that if you look at uh, like a subway or something, mm-hmm. right, a lot of those are owned by majority Indian groups, Okay. right? If they succeed, that's great, because eventually, you know, they succeed here or whatever, mm-hmm. or they take that money and go back home with it. Mm-hmm. If they don't succeed, shit, they go back home. Like, it, it's, it's a win-win either way. They just have a little more money going home. Right. Time. So you think the people that, that own the trucking companies, the people that, uh, you know, just own a lot of foreign things, you know, they, uh, what else is something that's a majority foreign? Uh, plumbing and things like those, you know, those uh, manual labor jobs. They're essentially taking that money and bringing it back home. So they don't have a problem with underbidding you. Because their money's gonna go a lot further back at the crib, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? But that, but that's what happens in our industry that we're in. Man. We 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 didn't talk about this, like how they coming over here, they underbidding for to get the contract to move something from one place to the other. They coming over here when the rate is like say it's three dollars and some cents. They come and say, oh, we'll do it for one fifty to two dollars. No, that's not what the rate is. The rate is three dollars and fifty cents. The fuck is you doing? Well, the the thing is. I, I think they're doing they're doing that because well part of that is the company's always looking for for the cheapest labor, mm-hmm. right? So if 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 that be the case, I think more often than not the company will go with the person that is uh, offering less, offering to, uh, willing to get paid less, mm-hmm. which is it's a business move, I guess. Um, but on the flip side, it, that would be the money they are making with that company. Let's just say the scenario at hand is they are offering twenty dollars, and then the, the foreigner come and make they are, they say I'll do it for fifteen. That fifteen dollars is more than what they'd be making at home. Right, and that's that that's kind of the problem because again, you're a lot of times, you know. Again, I'm not saying all right. So a lot of times you see a lot of the foreigners out. And they'll be driving the trucks. A lot of their trucks are in shambles. Oh yes, right. So they're they're cutting a lot of corners, right? They're just what I'm saying is it's a, it be, it eventually becomes a safety hazard. It's a fact, mm. right? So yeah, you got people that may seem like they're working harder, right? Because right, because they're willing to work and make all the money, amass so much money, so they can take it back home, right? But if you're 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 causing a safety hazard for everybody else because you're trying to get all the loads, 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 and speed the fuck around all all over the place. Look at the example: the guy in Denver or in Colorado. Oh, right? the truck. Oh, the yeah, truck yeah. driver. Yeah, he got like uh, how many years he got? Like like Seventy-five or something like that. Yeah, he eventually reduced it. Reduced it, but he got like a hundred and some years. Yeah. Right. He's from Mexico, I, I do believe, and you know he had a CDF, but it was uh it was. For interest, interest state only, so it was for taxes. Somehow, um, he ends up in 
somehow he ends up, he in he ends up in uh, uh, Colorado, right? He doesn't do his proper brake check. I mean, he doesn't do brake checks. He doesn't do his um, inspection on his vehicle. Yeah. What happens? He doesn't take the uh, the the off ramp. The uh, what is it? What's it called? Runway ramp. Runway ramp. <clears throat> he doesn't take that. Mm. He he thinks he's gonna eventually you know gain control of the vehicle. End up killing like six people. How many people did he end up killing? Yeah, one hundred and ten years. He got one hundred and ten years. End up he killing like seven families or something like that. He had a big explosion. Yeah, everything caught fire because he was. I think was he logging lumber wood. Yeah, if, wood. I'm not sure exactly what he was logging. I just know he wasn't even supposed to be in Colorado. He sure wasn't because he had a raggedy. It's like one of them broken down, beat up trucks. He, he like he say, cut corners, then do proper pre check. Especially when you're private, when you go for a private company. You need to do your pre checks. Every day, and this is just, every time this you is wake up, something you need to I've noticed in general. This is something that I've noticed in general that, like, with the foreign the foreign people that do drive trucks, mm-hmm. I'm not saying all of them don't keep their trucks maintained. All I'm saying is it's a good yeah, chunk of them that really don't follow the rules. rules yeah, we don't. have a lot of we have a lot of Americans okay. in general that don't follow the rules. However, I think we're kind of held to like at the end of the day, oh, if you get caught doing something, all right, boom, we. Sit, the, you know, cancel his yeah, visa. License, yeah, license. Well, cancel his visa. He didn't amass whatever bread he didn't, didn't amass, and he go back home. Yeah. Right? This is this is all you got. So your CDL or whatever it is, your license in general for whatever company or, or for, for whatever uh, industry that you're in, that's all that you got. So you you f that up, then you're gonna have to definitely find something else. You're gonna be working in the McDonald's. Yeah, your livelihood gone. So he killed uh, four four people April twenty fifth. Four people, okay. But that is crazy. I remember the story. That was like it was, it was like from, a couple of families, though, wasn't it? it? Said truck driver sentence reduced from one hundred and ten years to ten. Is that come on? Man. No, it was no, such no. a it was an outrage about it. Yeah, and now I do because he, he. If you ever was, and me and Jay every day learned this, and we talked about this too. What Jerry Day said, this is one of the first times that I've been part of like a serious, besides my homies, brotherhood mm. over job, where the truckers do stick together. Mm. That's one thing, like I don't give a fuck what color you are. Them motherfuckers gonna call you some niggas and everything when we get through handling this business. But as a whole, they stick together. And he was part of that community, so it was a lot of truckers fighting, like that's a little bit too much time. That's way we too knew much. we knew he fucked up. We knew he did everything wrong. That was still too much time. Yeah, that was a wild. That was kind of wild. Um, Natasha says 30, uh, 70, 30 contracts. No matter no matter the labor force, everyone needs to know their market worth. Naps and Beauty said um, that could cause more inflation as well due to uh, cutting corners for cheap labor. Yeah, it is. Both of y'all right, correct? Yeah. I mean, again, if you come over, if you come over here and 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 you know, you your job, what you do is excellent. Well, you know, it's just as on par as everybody else. Shit, charge what everybody else charge. Mm. There's no reason for you to undercut and underbid everybody. DHL once tried that in the market. Look what they had. What happened? <laughs> they had, they had, I mean, this is, and again, this is a multi-billion dollar company. They, they're on par with the UPS over here, right? So they decided they're they going to come over here to the U.S. market and underbid and undercut everybody. Mm. So they weren't able to deliver. This is why DHL had to leave about the country for some years. And another mm-hmm. company came out. Let me get that real quick. <laughs> yeah. Do that bread at them. We're going to go ahead and call you something else. No, no. D- I mean, DHL is back. Mm. They back. Yeah, I've seen it. The but they only do international, though. Right. Exactly. Because they they were trying to make come into that uh, domestic market. Okay. And they couldn't handle that. Yeah. yeah. But they was able to, oh, um, um, UPS is... Paying, you know, we pay UPS two dollars a package. So we'll do it for a dollar. Mm. And they couldn't sustain it. They couldn't the sustain that. Mm. And they're again, they're an eighty billion dollar company. Sheesh. Yeah, man, man. that that but, was that was crazy. We was talking about that for a minute, though. That story. Yeah. <laughs> we was talking about that truckers. We was talking about that for a minute because that could have been any one of us, though, low key. So. um... McDonald's opened its first automated restaurant with machines handling everything from taking orders to delivering to delivering the food and dividing opinions everywhere. When you step inside the test restaurant concept, you'll notice it's considerably smaller than a traditional McDonald's restaurant in the U.S. McDonald's said in a statement, why the features inside and outside are geared towards customers who are planning to 
dine at home or on the go. Come on, man. We're gonna we gonna we we gonna say that's the that's the only thing that they're trying to do. We gonna, we gonna, Hell no, they're trying to put more like money in their pockets to get rid of human human error, hmm. save on payroll hours. You know what I'm saying? I, I really don't think things like that work. Like it has to stop at some point. I mean, I, I look at the the wall, the neighborhood WalMarts, uh-huh. and they're closing down a lot of WalMarts throughout the country. A oh, lot of them so are neighborhood WalMarts, right? Well, uh, the four that they are cl- closing down within the Chicago land area are neighborhood WalMarts. Oh, did you see they trying to close the one in Cicero and they not having it? They yeah. want to they really? got a petition to try to keep it. Really, I, didn't I know think that. so. I think it's one in I think it's the one in Cicero. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, and I don't see why would you want to close that one? Like, because that's the closest one it's into a lot. Like yeah, that's bussing. They were talking about oh they didn't close the one on North Avenue. That one's bussing. All Walmart's around here is bussing. They all raggedy, but they all bussing. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and they in, they in neighborhoods that really need them and they really need use them. them I mean, like it that. Is, but. Again, if you're going to sit up here and make everything uh, automated, then do we really need you? True. Shit, but the Walmarts got generational wealth. They had to break that shit up. Watch the money they got. Fuck them. <laughs> That's what <laughs> <right. Fuck them. laughs> they said. Fuck I them. I barely look a Walmart. Yeah, all right. Somebody, uh, there's a dude on a, in the YouTube streets named Logic. He he said McDonald's over the overseas he lives in germany now he's in germany mm-hmm. he said it's night and day difference in compared to u.s just like walmart walmart's a night and day difference you go to the one in arkansas the ones in arkansas cleanest walmarts i've ever seen i was like shit i'll shop here mm. you come here and shit all over the floor i mean i don't know if that's a, a management thing or you know like your, your key word you just said you said arkansas right yeah it's down south all no no over. no i've been to walmarts in other states Okay. The cleanest one I've seen is in Arkansas because that's the base. That's the home. That's where it's from. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. Everything, every Walmart else I've been to is like, this shit trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Down south ain't got nothing. Shit, they, they probably got some corporate down. offices in that, my foot. That's why it's probably so clean. No, I'm talking about every single one that I've been to in Arkansas. It's just clean. Like just that. clean because they're out of Bentonville, Arkansas. Okay. So they're going to make sure they shit cool. Okay. Everybody else. The, the ones in Florida that I went to, because there's one in Florida that happened like right after Eric and Andrew, mm. they moved when they when they came down there, because I don't know if I ever told this story. They Walmart came down there when they were setting it up. They gave my grandmother before she passed the opportunity to yeah, like that, to yeah. uh to get them some bread to invest. Yeah. A lot of people didn't do it. Mm-hmm. That Walmart fucking around and took over. My grandma didn't would have been up like a couple of m's. You wouldn't even know this dude. <laughs> a couple of M's. A couple of M's. My, my grandmother would have been up a couple hey, of M's. Hey, Ma would have been down south with all them goats. <laughs> 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 I ain't going to lie to you. He would have hit that Chevy they, sitting on 30s. <laughs> they, 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 no. <laughs> they gave a lot of black people opportunities because black people didn't know about investing. Yeah. The ones that did, did invest. Mm-hmm. The ones that didn't, they were scared. What happened? That's one of the biggest Walmarts in Florida City. If you ever go there, I don't mm. know. You said you went to, uh, did you go to Key West when you went down there? No, I haven't been to Key West. If you ever go, because I know you're trying to, you plan on, you want to yeah. just go once. Yeah. When you drive down there, I don't know if you're going to stay in Florida City. You might stay in Miami and just fly drive down there. Mm. Exit one, when you're getting off the turnpike, they turn yeah. it to US one. If you look, because you'll be coming, it'll be on your right hand side. And you're going to see that Walmart is huge. It got to be sitting on some, I don't know how acres go. But it might be at least a hundred acres. It's like almost like a foot. Like you could put a stadium over there and still have enough room for parking and everything. It'd be wow. still cool. That's how many acres it sit on over there. Yeah. It's really big. It's like a super Walmart where they got a full on. You can fix your car. People go school shopping there. They got a full on grocery store. This is like one of the biggest Walmarts down there. Mm. Natasha said, "When I travel to other continents, I visit McDonald's and Starbucks. The menus are always different, and the food." is generally better quality than here in North America. Oh, I believe that. Oh, boy, she used the North America thing. She didn't say the States. <laughs> she said North America. Man. You oh, know she, she traveled. She said when I travel to other countries. Yeah, what? Well, I'm over here. She said, <laughs> when I travel to Arkansas. <laughs> She said continents, V. Continents like that. She like said North like America. Like you are well traveled. But you know what? That's, that's the thing about people outside of America, right? A lot yeah. of people are just traveled, right? You yeah. know? And that's something that we have to. <laughs> <She> said, <"Damn." laughs> we got to get on your level. I'm a, I, I got mine. I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna be talking about that concert and shit too. A lot, of, a lot of people outside of American uh, America are well traveled, well cultured. You know, yeah. it's like we lagging behind. We got so many things that we trying to. Yeah, because we so goddamn rude and mean. Yeah, 
Well, they, I mean, I don't know about us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people just like the people yeah, the color of this table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's just nice, but I, I fucked with that in the time. I like that right there. That that one right there. When I travel, when I travel to other con- not countries, continents, continents. continents. Shit. Shit. I ain't seen that <laughs> word since I've been in school. Continents, man. God damn. You <laughs> said yeah. continents, though. Me. Yeah. <laughs> continents, me. I used to have a Lincoln. <laughs> Continental. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's, that definitely, if you ain't saying that, hold up. I definitely had a Lincoln Continental. <laughs> With the suicide dog. Yeah, he had it. the white walls? Man, gangsta white walls. Oh, with the dice in the windows on the mirror? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, what the fuck? I definitely had the dice. You see, you had the I ain't had no Lincoln, man. Dice. I'm lying, man. But, you know, that's what dice. I thought. I was going to keep the story going. Yeah, too long yeah, and take it I to know, the next level. I know, <laughs> I know somebody listening. My nigga didn't have no Lincoln. <laughs> Oh shit, man! That was a good one, though, man, right there. But yeah, that AI shit gonna be crazy. It's going crazy, man. It's going crazy. Fully man. automated McDonald's. We got auto uh, police robot police dogs, robot security. I, I ain't gonna lie to you though. I kind of wish this what this what family. What we always talk about, we want the uh, just family period. Even though we say black family, but just the family as a whole. It don't matter if you got a wife, mother, wife, father, whatever family. This way they come into handy because I sure wanted to, my, my son is going to be a firefighter. I'm going to do that, that's to come to death of me. My son will be a firefighter. But also, I will have them doing other traits and other things too to have mm-hmm. on that also as well. So just imagine if I had my father or something in the household with my mother where you got two brains that tell, oh, we need to get him to do this and this too. Not just this, both of these. It's cool to have both of these underneath your belt. And I think that's a really... With this AI stuff, that's what it'll come into heaven. With all these trades that we talk about, people need to be having. When we need to teach y'all, would you have your kid going to college or just going to get a trade? Both. Oh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. Oh, yeah. No doubt. I mean, I, I see this AI shit um, as, you know, maybe them. this is a way for them to uh, usher in aliens. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> How you know it's not AI? How you know it's not, you know, and, and stuff like that? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> I, I thought about it. That's why I up. Yeah. So, keep going because we no. almost at the uh, well, two hour. Well, we can we can say that for next week. No, I really want to talk about the day though. Let's well, go ahead, so, whatever. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, we yeah. Just you know, dedicate whatever ten yeah. fifteen minutes. That's yeah. Okay. Yo, what's wrong? Right. Go ahead. No, use your use your. I'm just reminding you to do it. All right. So, uh, question question is, what. What is are or is one to three things you've carried over from childhood? So it doesn't have to be bad, it doesn't have to be good, it can be just a habit that you know you've you carried all through life or you didn't have it as a child but in and you notice that, you know, you're different whatever. Is it something your parents taught you or just it can be that too. It can be that too. Uh which I wanna go first? Yeah, you you remember. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You know, I I thought about it, but I'm like, we at the two hour mark. No, Mine is, and I've, I've thought about this, bro, because I've been reading that question and I've been trying to think hard. But mine is my work ethic and for me to keep working and don't complain no matter what the outcome is. I've been on that journey and I've really realized, just because you just brought that question, because I've been doing it and never realized it, but that's where I get it from, my mother. My mother, she, I know this don't, eh, eh, I don't think it should have taken no way, but she took in uh, my uh, my auntie's kids, and we all was like, well, I say, it's just me and my brother, but I got other cousins that's like cousin, brother, cousin, sisters, too, because we all grew up in the same oh, house. Yeah. Okay. So I've never seen, like, she might did a co- complain about it, and she might told other people, but uh, her as a kid, I've never seen my mother, long as she was living. My mother had passed away in, like, 2003, 2004. I've never seen her complain about shit, mm. not having no money, not arguing with shit, just getting shit done. No matter how the situation pan out, no matter how, you know, shit may go, no matter how hard it is. And I think that's where I get mine from. That's why I really don't care about the complaints, the shit that's going negative, the shit that's doing this, the shit that's going that. I know long as these brothers might hurt, they ain't never heard me complain about always constantly working six days, working all these hours. I'm just going to go get it. It is the outcome is the outcome. But I'm going to keep working. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. 
I'm going to keep working. As long as there's breath in my body, I got my limbs, I'm going to work. I don't care. It's just, that's just what I've seen her do and I'm going to keep doing that shit. And that's one of the things that I've learned is to keep working no matter what the outcome is. No matter if you can't see the finish line, no matter if shit going real hard, no matter if the bank account is drained, nigga, I'm going to pot you in at this clock. That check will be that Friday that I work for. Mm -hmm. So that's my one of my one of things. Just keep on working and don't complain. Okay. Is that the, that's the only one. Yeah, that's the only one. That's the only one I can think of. Uh, so I I would agree with work ethic, right? I got that from my pop, right? Just watching him getting up, going, to, you know, going to work every morning, you know. Um, so that's something I got from him specifically. I have no problem with getting up, going to work, and at least doing that. Uh, <clears throat> two things that I got specifically from my uncle, and you know, he got his own things that he's going through, but. This is something that I learned from him. And he said, I always wear a watch, right? Because I always have a watch on. Yeah, you see? And, um, Let me see. He going to he gonna, he gonna try to cover it up. No, I, I, <laughs> he said, he say, always have a watch because a person with no watch don't have anywhere to be, right? They, they don't have any time, mm -hmm. right? They don't have any concept of time, right? Imagine the person, you know, it's, and this is even before cell phones, right? So that was something I picked up on. Also, he say never say goodbye because goodbye means it's forever. Funny. Yeah, I always say see you later. See you later. So I will always say see you later when I see when I talk to people, mm. uh, or I always would say uh, I'll see you soon. That's how I normally leave things as you know I'll you know see you later. I'll see you soon. No, so those are the two things. Even though he's going through whatever he's going through, you know may God be with him. But you know I picked up on that and I picked up on that when I was little. Shit, I love coming to this party. You learn some fucking new shit, boy. Y'all better start to me. <laughs> Like, review, subscribe. I'm telling you. Go ahead. Man, y'all was deep, bro. <laughs> damn, boy, that's some game. That's some game right here, bro. Some mature it's individuals. Damn. Oh, damn. I'm about to ruin it because I ain't got nothing like that. It's cool, though. You be like, well, I've been eating Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> bro, one of them was literally, I noticed when I didn't have my own car, my mom always had snacks in the car. Mm -hmm. Whenever so she was driving, there's always snacks in the car, and now that I'm older, I got my own car. I always I always have something to consume while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. oh, like man. it could be water, it could be some goldfish, it's, it's something something just just to to snack on or to consume while I'm driving. Is that, and, you think that's a nervous thing or just? I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't know. Okay. She does. She just does it. Um. But at first, the thing is, and, and this is why I say, like, um, you might not have done it while you were a child, but you started doing it as an adult. Because mm -hmm. when she was doing all that, when she was all that, when she was doing that, I would think to my head, like, why are you always snacking on something? She always got something to, to eat, like, <laughs> while she's in the car, like. <sighs> but but now, here I am, being her in that regard. Yeah, you know what I mean. And the second thing that I got, when I was younger, my dad, he. Uh, drinks he drinks a lot of water right mm -hmm. and he always had the cup the cup was from bottom to top filled with ice mm -hmm. like how do you even drink like that I never like my drinks super cold so I'm looking at him I'm like how do you even drink that no brain freeze or like yeah. whatever guess what I do with my water now same thing same thing <laughs> same thing cup full of ice mm hmm I fill it up with ice, pour some water in there, shake it up, drink all that, uh, pour more water, you know what I'm saying, until I can mm -hmm. walk away. But he, his reason was, um, he just like his, he just like his drink super cold. Me is more so a lazy thing, so I don't have to, like, I, I want to drink a whole <laughs> bunch of water. <laughs> drink a whole, if I want to drink a whole bunch of water, I don't, I want to be able to just refill the cup instead of refill a cup of ice and water and ice water every time so uh -huh. i think well something i've picked up not necessarily from anybody but um also is um again my uncle uh, another one of my uncles he he was big in the um you know fragrances colognes and stuff like that so that was just something i took from him mm. um now i've had like some issues as far as um Y'all know my gym shoe story, right? I'm not finna sit up here and tell any of y'all. You know my gym shoe story? 
Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'm not finna sell it, but um, this is the reason why I've always had pretty nice shoes and stuff on is because, you know, we was kind of going through a rough economic time. So it's like, you know what, I always wanted to keep some fly on my feet, mm-hmm. right? Because, you know, kids that, you know, kids can be me, you know. Um, that's really, that's really about it. But, you know. Mm. Natasha said, um, Three flexing emojis. Oh, she got all our colors up there too, except for yours. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta put a yellow one. Hey, you gotta put a yellow one up there for uh, for spaces, Natasha. He he lay lighter than that, Natasha. He yellow. Uh, she said, "All great life tips. The car snack thing can save you in an emergency. That's one of the things. Yes, that's one of the things she did say. I didn't think about that. <laughs> um, if you're stuck in your car." Uh, that's the exact color right there. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Color right there. Yeah, she did it for you. Yeah, the laughing emoji. Uh, this uh, car snack thing can save you in an emergency if you're stuck in your car, along with the proper car kit, blanket, jack, flashlight, solar power radio. Mm, good tips. You can tell you from camera. P- <laughs> Facts. That's that Cold camera. There, right that. yeah. That's that camera from, from, oh, from North America. Up, way up North America. Which, yeah. That's what she just said. People get snuck. Stuck in snow all the time in Canadian winters. Yeah, eh? Uh, I don't know about eh? Oh, this is some true game from all of y'all. I, <laughs> I'm sitting there like, they talk, they they got the some, like, oh, significant I, I, stuff. Yeah, y'all got one more, one I'm more, one more. Food. Can, y'all can say one more and then we can probably end on this, right? Uh, my, my other cousin, big cousin, uh, named Ladarius. That's his real name, street name, Ailes or whatever. I'm not, that nigga named Ladarius in my eye. Nigga, that's his real name, Ladarius. I've always seen him, right, no matter what, because we didn't have, well, we, like, as many shoes as I got now. Like, this the most shoes I've never had in my life, the shoes I got now, because I'm a dope, I could buy them on my own. But my mother used to buy her shoes or whatever, and he used to always keep his clean. Like, I wasn't that dude that used to keep him clean like him, but I always see him. So now... I taught my son, and my son gonna grow up now. I take the shoe strings out, get two brushes, soap and water. Like you, uh, mm-hmm. like if we about to go somewhere or something, I know I'm. That's why it takes me a little bit longer. I start getting ready earlier because I gotta screen my shoes first. You get you some dishwashing liquid soap, two brushes, and you get the scrubbing. Wipe them down, clean your shoe strings, put them back up, let them sit up there while you're getting the rest ready. By the time you get through, everything will be dry and everything. But he was one of the first men that ever taught me you should always keep your shoes clean because that's one of the one things that women always look at so i always you always always uh, women always look at you a man from his feet up on up that's so crazy she's gonna look at you from your feet on up and that's one thing that my cousin always taught me is to keep my shoes clean and that's why (laughs) when i have on shoes and stuff people are like damn why your shoes always so clean talk to my cousin des man he's the one who taught me that i remember when i was in uh spending summers with my dad and joliet my me and my cousin because he was with me too. We would come in every day and, and take our shoestrings out of the shoe. Yep. But get some soap and water in the sink and yeah. put the sh- shoestrings in there. And then. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Squeeze all that. Facts. No printer. These printer. kids these days, boy, well, they don't know nothing about that. What? They got Crocs, man. I've seen some of these kids, man. Like you go to Great America or something. They had them Air Force always. Ones fucked up. I mean, they wear it <laughs> like that. I mean, this is the. All of them. Yeah, I mean, what? Shit, we go to the gym. These is grown people now. I mean, gym, they shoes is fucked up. I mean, it is the gym, but damn. But, bro, no, you need just some new I'm looking for some new gym shoes yeah. now. For the gym. I got me shoes it's specifically for the gym. You got to be funky. Right. Now, don't get me wrong, because I be in there sweating and shit. My shit is funky now. Don't get, don't, 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 look. My shit be like, you know, athlete foot is real when you're in the gym and shit, bro. Your, your feet be sweating. You're supposed to sweat in the gym. My shit be funky. But they be clean, and they be cool. When they fuck up, I throw them in the garbage. But I do have some good shoes for the gym. I had the right, I had the right tools for the right situations. Man. Facts, a lot of that's a good people, year. You know, they, I mean, the gym Ooh, shoes shit. again, they, they are really for the gym, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But you know, we we do walk around. But again, yeah. shit, we we truck drivers. We got people that hop out in sandals. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, no, I, no, 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 no. A lot of and, and yeah, missing not, a couple not toes. The, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be rather toeless. So, and that's not to keep harking on the foreign people, but yeah. a lot of foreign people hop. I'll be like, damn, why are you out here? <laughs> Dogs just out. Why are you, you out? I mean, out we like we that. out here at the warehouses <laughs> and you get sandals on, bro. <laughs> you got your puppies out uh, like that. Your puppies are supposed to be out here like that. Yeah, you you go to the beach, you wear sandals. <laughs> that's it. You at work, your puppies don't. Uh, yeah, like man. That. Dogs is out. How they little puppies be? Your dogs is your whole foot, but your toes at the man. Where's the puppies be? And then they dr- look, man. Look, I keep rocking on these motherfuckers. They be driving and they feet 
is you ever see these? Look at next time you're on the expressway or something driving, the dude feet is hanging out the window. It's out the window. <laughs> you done like this? <laughs> I say shit. He just throwing toe jams out the window, and it's hit the top of your car, man, at the back, cause he throwing toe jams out. You know you don't get a car wash. You feel me? So. Oh shit, man! Lord have mercy. But I like that naps and beauty facts, no printer. I'm gonna use that instead of the regular facts. We facts, no printer. Mm, okay, well let me go ahead and put my trademark on that. I appreciate you though. <laughs> <laughs> facts, no printer. That'd be a nice shirt too. Facts, no printer. Yeah, yeah. that'd be a nice shirt. I'm oh, here yeah, trademark it, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, make sure I get me some residuals off yeah. that, man. Yeah, man. So that's all I got for today, man. See, I told you that would have been a good one to end on right there, man. Yeah, okay. yeah. It was, it was fun, good. man. It was a fun podcast. Yeah. Y'all got anything for Thanks for, thanks for mm-hmm. hanging around with us. Yeah. Hey, man, again, um, fit it. I'm running out of hats. I'm about to get married. I can't be keep buying hats, bro. I got to put this money on this, man. I can't. Whew, these hats is a cost, man. I love them, but if you hear me out there, you can say I'm begging or whatever, man. Send that, send that, 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 that thing over. His space. His space is going to hit me, and we're going to be cool. You gonna start wearing hats too. You'll take tomorrow, baby mama's uh, do rags off. <laughs> you start wearing hats too, won't you? You start wearing fitness, won't you? They get some. You wear some fitness. If they, if they, if it's, if it's through an endorsement, sure. Okay. You ain't gonna. You, it ain't like Pepsi. You'll take that endorsement. Mm. No. You ain't gonna take that endorsement. Uh, we're, we're, we're fitted, yeah. Pepsi okay, okay. Let okay. me let me ask y'all this real quick question. Okay. We don't even got to do a mess, right? Because we were talking about now, uh, uh, mo. Monocues <laughs> special, right? Mm. So, again, I, as I stated before, I kind of understand why she did it, right? You know, mm. why she was able to get a special with Netflix. Okay. So, my question to you fellas is, would you pretend? No. No. <laughs> I already know what you're going to say. No. For, for no money. For no, no money. money. No money. It ain't no matter money because that's not me. No, I already know exactly what you're going to say. Go ahead, though. You can finish, though. Go ahead. Oh, well, I'm sure they know, too. I mean, <laughs> Go ahead. What about exactly you, Spaces? You would, you, would you pretend, you know what I'm saying, to have a little hankering for some tankering? No. For $10 million? Nah, I don't know. No. Nah. The money doesn't move me like that. Like, it's obviously... It ain't got to move you for the rest of your life after you get this $10 million. <laughs> I No, nah, it, nah, it just... Money doesn't move me like that. I, I just... And if anything, I just want money. I just want to get to a point where I don't need to worry about purchasing things. Yeah, you know what I mean. But to, to I don't I don't well, need to do that. You don't need some money to do that to not worry about right. Purchasing no, I'm things. saying, yeah. but I don't need ten million though. Shit. <laughs> Shit, the way these dollars are going, you're going to need some. Yeah, man, the, right? The, the American dollar is collapsing, banks collapsing, you know. I, I get what you're saying. But. Mm. What about you? Hell no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I'm not in the industry, right? You know, so. Um, National Beauty says it was a pleasure chilling with you in the chat, too. Natasha. Oh, Natasha yeah, says it was fun hanging out with you. I, I, National Beauty. Yeah, how he said Money do move me, but it ain't moving me for that. I'm cool on that one. I just. Go money do move me, but it ain't moving my booty. <laughs> 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 yes, it moves me. It gets me, you know, it gets me hyped, whatever. But it's just ain't, that's one of the ones I just turn it down. I'm going to just keep working. I'll keep driving these trucks. I'm cool. What about you going to keep driving these trucks? Oh, hell yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, just hit us. Y'all got to do, hey, man, kids, adults, whatever. Hit us with this. We know what that mm-hmm. means. We got you. I got you. We used to be kids, too. We got you. Mm-mm. I, I'll just close out with a super quick message. Maul already, he actually already hit us with like five of them. I did? I gave you that much game? Yeah, but what what you said you were gonna do with your son is I think something people really really need to think about uh, doing in the future is like you gonna need a college degree and the trade. Fuck that college degree because that's just some. Uh, I'm more sorry. than one. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that because if you want to go to college, you want to go to college. But I would just say if it's for you because some kids don't like going to school and being in an institution. Some some kids you got to put their ass in the fire and have them doing stuff with their hands. Now if they're that type of kid. Go to school. But if they're not, you should know your kid. Not. Well, ultimately, it's just you're going to have to have more than just one. Yeah, that's a fact. It's a fact. You're right. You're right. Because, like we just said, the dollar, the American dollar is collapsing. The world is changing. Mm-hmm. The robots are taking over. You're going to have to definitely, you're going to have to have more than one thing 
like the the regular bachelor's degree alone isn't going to hold it. Just one trade isn't going to hold it. Let's see, one hundreds in there. But uh, so you just got to really focus on on making your making your income robot proof and quarantine proof as best you can anyway. Yeah. Go check out the No Absolutes podcast. Will Hill and uh, they they have some crazy conversations over there. Um, this has been another edition of the No Key Podcast. Wear your crown, build your legacy, kings. It's your man, Spaces. It's Jay every day. Hey man, it's your boy Ma. Meeting the jury. <laughs>